Welcome everybody, I'm MC Toon, and it's Toon's Day Plus One. That's Wednesday. Uh, I had, uh, I had, my schedule just happened to work out, I had some time, and I thought, hey, let's go trolling on, on TikTok. See if we can fish up some flurfs. So, <laughs> I've got, I've got, uh, I got one thing to show you on there, uh, but I do need to, I need to say again, a big thank you to Eric, who said this. I, I can't, I don't know how you contacted me. I do remember that you contacted me. Email, Facebook, tic Twitter, uh, Discord. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, just send me a message so I can send you another thank you. So there you go. Thanks to that. Um, so, uh, TikTok. <laughs> it's going to be a TikTok. But I'm going to start by showing you a uh, something that perfectly, perfectly describes I, flat earthers and science deniers in general. I mean, it, it's evolution, anti-evolutionists, all, all that. So this one from a guy on TikTok named Little Victorian Boy. And it's uh, this was sent to me by uh, Dave Kircher. So here it is. So if we all came from babies, then why are there still babies? And science has no answers for this. And I spoke with this scientist recently. I said, so, so you were a baby? And he goes, yeah, we were all babies. And I say, so you remember being a baby? And he goes, no, you don't form memories when you're a baby. Oh, convenient, huh? So you just took someone's word for it. And I looked at him and I said, so I was a baby? That's what you're telling me? And he says, yeah, you were a baby. And I about slapped the nose off his face because that made me so angry, you know? Because I was never a baby, all right? I never go poo-poo in my diaper. I never crawl around on all fours like a little tiny bald baby. My earliest memory is waking up on that riverbank naked, blood gushing from my head. That's where God placed me, fully formed, the perfect man. So don't you deny my experience with your science because my experience wins every time. So if we all can so the point the point of that it's so perfect it's how you know how flat earthers they demand first-hand evidence only that's the only thing they'll allow well of course they'll allow photos that somebody else took or videos that somebody else took or what you know the the the, the ramblings of some person but they won't that when in their efforts to deny reality they 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 get they get they apply this double standard um, you know, what, when, when, when reality destroys their fantasy, what can they do but deny? So that's what they, that's what they have. So anyway, fish with a top hat. I'm, oh, I'm going to, nope, not that. There we go. So I'm going to start a, uh, live, live, uh, feed here. And, um, there we go. It's going live. So uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it until some people show up. I don't know exactly how to make people, how to bring people in on TikTok, but I will, I will, uh, I'll do my best. Anyway, so um, I hope you liked that one. That was, that was very appropriate for how people demand this, this uh, firsthand, firsthand stuff. So if you're joining me on TikTok, I, I played a video by, uh, um, by a little Victorian boy about uh, how can you how can you know that babies exist if you you don't remember being a baby. So, all right, hey, there's there's what you see, Facebook people. There's there's what you see on TikTok. So I'm looking for some flurfs, but I did I did message Glober Man and uh, Globy McGlobe Face or any other Globers that are that are around. You can pop in uh, until we get a. Um, <clears throat> A, uh, a flurf in here. So somebody said, get rid of that echo. What echo? Is there an echo? I, I hope there isn't. I've, uh, I've, on, no, on TikTok, somebody on TikTok said there's an echo. So, um, now I have seen almost all of the level three mockumentary. Uh, it is the worst, uh, the worst yet. Um, and uh, so it will make for some excellent and funny debunking. Um, 
lots of lies, lots of claims without evidence, lots of them saying that you can't make claims without evidence and then they make claims without evidence. So that's perfect. Oh, it's, it, there is a visual echo and it's mirrored. Look at that. I can give myself five right there. Yay. Now, if you're on TikTok only, you won't know what I'm doing. So, all right. Um, how do I know if somebody's trying to join? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little rough at this. So, uh, there it is. Oh, there you go. I can invite, I can invite people. Oh, look at that. There's, you see that? You see that? There's, you know, who that is at the top there. You know, who that is that's, that's Caleb. Let's see what he says. Uh, <laughs> I'll send out a few people here. Uh, See, see what happens. <laughs> flat derp. I love flat derp. There's some, there's some good. Some good. All right. We'll see how that goes. See if we get anybody coming in here. So, uh, how many do we have here? How do I know? 29. I think there's 29 on TikTok. Uh, watching live 34. They're, they're strolling in. So did I see Starship hit the dome and blow up the other day, it says Liquid Flames. I did watch that. I didn't watch it live. I was busy at the moment, but uh, I did watch it. And yeah, <laughs> it did It did not blow up the launch site, but it did kind of damage the, uh, the, the the concrete under it. And so I have a bunch of work to do there. But uh, hopefully they can get that repaired quick and send another one up. It was, it was a dramatic ending. Uh, PSG Tony says for two Australian, all TikTok users are commies. Well known fact. So there you go. Uh all 51 of you on, on TikTok. <laughs> now you know. Here's here comes Globe Man. Yo, what's going on? Welcome. Good to, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Talk about good timing. I just messaged you letting you know, like, hey, turns out uh, I don't got anything going on, so just let me know when you start. And then you started it. I started. I did. So, all right. I, I sent, well, me, a, I sent an invite back. to Caleb. Do you think he'll show? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> Why not? Caleb, Caleb, he he won't do debates on TikTok anymore. I don't feel like because there's not enough money to be gained that way. He can't force people to pay ten dollars to watch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that they actually want people to pay to watch their derpy podcast. Yeah, oh. I I don't really get that either. It's like uh. People have asked me, they're like, why don't you uh, do a podcast where people pay? It's like, because I'm giving them info that they can find in two seconds on Google. I'm not dropping any amazing facts about the world. Yeah, it's, it's stuff that's taught uh, if, if you take the optional classes in high school in America for free. Isn't right. that nice? And it's, uh, a lot of it is stuff that isn't really even that hard to understand. That's, uh, I mean, a year ago, I didn't understand most of this stuff. Now I somehow I have a decent following and stuff. I don't know how I got here. I, I applied myself, I guess. <laughs> that's that's the thing that I think the flatties are missing. Uh, let's see. Caucasian sensation says Flurf's only fear is sphere itself. True. That is factual. So does does Caleb and Caleb and, and Professor Ick of the the uh the Institute for Kids That Get Science Good and Want to Learn to Do Other Stuff Good Too. They have that podcast together. Do, but they also have a, a YouTube channel together. I don't know if it's doing anything yeah. much, but... Yeah, apparently, I have a debate coming up with him soon on modern day debates. I don't I don't know much of the details. It's a, it's a cluster of nonsense. You, you and Caleb? Yeah, it's going to be me, Globy, Caleb, and I think Wits it. Oh I don't gosh. know why they want to do that but i'm just here for the ride you know 2v2 is always so rotten i hate the 2v2s that that uh, james on modern day debate always tries to set up so we've got yeah. uh the, we've got adrian 21582 hey guys welcome how you doing i have a question uh is it true that riz became a glover yeah. i heard something yeah. like that yeah Wait, what how, how was that even all right so some background how'd that happen so so uh because uh, there's 230 people watching on YouTube as well. So Riz, Riz is a flat earther, former flat earther, 
that uh, I apparently for Ramadan gave up being a flat earther. So. Oh wow! There's that. I, I don't know. I think I think the story goes. It's this rumor that some <laughs> Muslim cleric or priest or something said it's a globe, and so he's like, okay. It was um kind of close to that. It was uh, That's all it took. a Muslim astronaut from the ISS um, oh. took a video and. Oh, wow. I don't know what it is. He said it's uh, more important to him that it's someone that's Muslim, especially during Ramadan, because he said uh, to lie is not something they should do. I Personally, I wouldn't say that's good enough for me, but... Right. <laughs> uh, apparently, I mean, right. does that mean it's okay for them to lie try. when it's not Ramadan? I don't know. I didn't question... Yeah, I guess. I, I suspected he was trolling about six months ago, though, and uh, I held that belief the whole way through. <laughs> well, he he claimed to have basically PhDs in every topic of ever, or some oh, sort yeah. of thing like that. Doctor, so it, everything. It, it's, yeah, well, uh, you know, I don't know if you know Sal, but as he says, uh, how many degrees does a triangle have? Three less than Riz. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty true. All right, guys, I'll let you go. I just wanted to see if that was actually a thing. Yeah. All right. All right, thanks. Take care, guys. So if, if, uh, on TikTok, if there's any any flatties you want to pop in, j feel free to join. Um, and uh, Globe yeah, Man, I, uh... can, can, can you do some, I don't know, can you, you do some share thing? I don't know. I'm still a little bit uh, um, green on the TikTok stuff. Yeah, I can uh, try to share it out to a few people. Also, um, just with your viewers here, TikTok is a uh, huge on likes and stuff. So just call to action. Make sure you encourage your viewers to like often because uh, it pushes it up in the TikTok al or oh, algorithm. There you go. Um, I'll see sure if I have any flat earthers, though. I don't really follow any. They spam me. <laughs> I, get, I get a lot of spams Let's on my videos. Let's see if I can videos. find one. Uh, while you do that, uh, PhD Tony said the SpaceX launch facility is inside a nature reserve, so I kind of wish they would stop scattering debris and chemicals all over it. Yeah, that'd be good. A bit, uh, kind of some uh, concrete, kind of just sprinkled around was a, was a bit uh, uh, generously, and uh, but and hopefully the chemicals it's they're they're burning methane instead of propane, which is uh, I think a little cleaner. Uh, so I think that's a, a better thing. It's better than some of the hypergolic fuels that are very toxic. So with that most recent launch, I, I heard that there was a, a lot of stuff that also went wrong other than the fact, obviously it went further than expected, but, uh, like with the launch pad and stuff, there were cars and things that got damaged. But yeah. There was one van that had some cameras mounted on the top and they had permission to do it and they, they sent uh no they said they they received they received some concrete to the back end of the van and uh it 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 yeah it damaged it but it didn't it didn't go as far as they hoped they had hoped that it would uh they'd get a proper stage separation and then it would uh, go all the way around and then the top would uh, the second stage would land near hawaii uh, but that didn't happen yeah, I, I didn't follow up uh, too much with it. I didn't know much about it beforehand. But, um, you know, just from some of the stuff I had seen, it seemed a little bit ill-advised. Maybe ill-advised is the wrong word. A rushed maybe would be the right word. It, but I guess they are on a time schedule. It's time sensitive. Yeah, well, and that, that rocket that they had was ready to go. And they had made, they've made made several improvements to the next round of rocket. And they're, they want to get that one going quickly. So they've they changed a bunch of things about how the the... the the engine's gimbal, they changed, I don't know. A lot of things have changed, so that's part of how SpaceX does things is this rapid development stuff, which is if you write software, the agile process and uh, scrums and sprints and all that stuff is is the types of things that uh, they're doing in rocket design. So it's a pretty cool way to do things. Um, but you want to get another another rocket going soon. So they were like, let's get this one out, learn from it, get the next one out. So they kind of made a I mean, little bit of a mess. Probably, uh, I mean, and, you know, it's uh, with SpaceX, they launch so often that, uh, I mean, the chance for failure, obviously, it goes up a little bit because 
they're doing it more often. So I, I didn't hold a, you know, too many, uh, I guess, criticisms against it. Yep. All right, so we've got fans? joining 864 Fanta. Whoever that is. Welcome, 864 hey, Fanta. I didn't realize I was in yet. You are. What's up? I didn't even realize I had joined yet. <laughs> no, no, I know I'm in here now. How are you guys going today? I'm I'm good. I'm what, good. What, what's up with you? How you guys? Uh, I've seen some people in the comments. First, uh, let me ask, are you guys Globies or are you True Earthers? We're True Earthers the, the and true Globies. Ask, Both, yes. Okay, explain that for me real fast. Well, the, the Earth is a globe, so no, the, the true you. shape of the Earth is a globe, so that makes us true Earthers. Okay, I see. So, false, first off, but I didn't really come here to debate that. It's not really debate. You can't convince uh, false Earthers otherwise. You guys are indoctrinated super hard. So, I, I we came here. Some people in the comments were talking about that. Some people in the comments were talking about the Hubble Space Telescope being real. Yes, of course it is. Uh, I got proof that it's not. Oh, you do? You have no, proof that it's, it's not? not. All right, let's hear it. All right. So, one, whenever you have a telescope or a camera lens or anything of the sort, whenever you see pictures from it or look through a telescope, anything of the sort, you can always see the edges of the telescope. Say you look through binoculars, you can see the holes the binoculars are coming from when you're looking through them, right? No. But for some reason, not with these magic space telescopes. Why is that? Not real. Uh, well, you can't. So, there's that. Exactly. Well, and, it's not and real. also with the with exactly. like obviously they're not going to have the same kind of telescope that I have, but I mean I can just put my iPhone up to the eyepiece, and if I zoom in, it takes out the edges. I don't see them anymore. Yeah. Right. Without a camera, or with a camera. With that, that's if I put my iPhone up to it. If I just put my eye to it, then I still see the edges. With the camera, exactly. So it's, you're telling me that. You can get the results you want if you use a source that can be easily edited, as in pictures. Videos, yes, I, I thought you had proof. Could you could you just present the proof then? Uh, just saying, you can't see the edges. That's not proof. That's just you not understanding how it works. Yeah, so, so, do you have any proof of it? Maybe. No, no, no. Bring, for, bring for forth that is the proof. proof itself. That should be enough right there. That, that's not that in, that's, that that's ridiculous is, is what that right is there, but i know you guys are heavily i know you guys are heavily indoctrinated so it, it sounds like you don't uh, quite understand how the telescope proof. works Show me. so i perfectly understand how they work you do how, how, how much <sighs> if you don't, how much time have you, you know, spent looking at the source don't, images from don't, that telescope don't try to, you know, Plenty, uh, a lot of time, you know, I've noticed a few things over the years taking a look. One right. thing is they never, for some reason, they never take pictures of the Earth themselves. With with the Hubble? Have you ever noticed that? What, why, they would they? why would yeah, they? Why would they? Yeah, they never turn around and take a picture of the Earth. Why would they? Yeah, but why would the Hubble do well, that? Who doesn't want to see the Earth, huh? Well, there's other things that are designed to see why the, the Hubble. Earth is round. So. Yeah. So... There are right, other so things that are designed turn to see it the Earth. To prove that the so, Earth is so, so listen, listen. There are other things. Why wouldn't they just turn it around to prove yeah, the yeah, Earth just, is Yeah, just stop talking and listen. The Epic Discover satellite takes uh, pictures well, of the got, Earth. I'd never, bro, I never and, and, and you hand wave no deny that. You to sit up here and I, I, me I, out. Would you just stop talking over me? Just stop talking no over me. You, you asked a question, I'm giving you an answer. Out, bro. You asked a question, I'm giving you the answer. Are you scared of the answer? Is that why you're talking yeah, over you're me? You're cussing me out. Sounds like you're cussing me out. I, I haven't cussed yet. I haven't you. cussed yet, but you are talking over me. So could you just stop talking over me while I'm answering the question that you asked me? That would be the Can polite thing to do. Can you are you going to keep cussing me uh, out? I have not yet cussed. Can you once. continue you're going to keep cussing me out? I have not yet cussed. Why are you lying? Do you feel that it's appropriate to lie? Why do you feel it's appropriate to lie? When have I cussed you? Never told you? a lie. 
When have I cussed at you? No, you so you accused lie. me of cussing at you, why you feel it, and that's why do you a feel lie. It's appropriate to disrespect and cuss me uh, out? Uh, when have I cussed? Are you drunk right now? When did I cuss at you? Are you drunk right now? When did I cuss at you? It's a yes or no question. Are you no. drunk right now? When did I cuss at you? Are you drunk right now? When did I cuss at you? Answer yes or no. Are you drunk right now? I am not. When did I cuss at you? Tell me. Just a few moments ago. When did I, I cuss? This whole time you All still right. continue to cuss me out. There you go. Got a lie to flirt. <laughs> Got a lot of flair. That was so, something. For reference, Eric Burns is in the YouTube chat right now, and Eric Burns has personally worked with data from the Hubble Telescope. It's on. Uh, he talked about it on my podcast, The Tune Show. You can find it on all the podcasting platforms as well as on YouTube at Tune Show, where he talked about his time with the the Hubble. And he's going to be coming on again after his. He's got finals next week, the week after, and then he's going to come on again. He's going to talk about some different things. He is. Uh, he's finishing up his master's degree in uh, uh, astronomy. Then he's going on to uh, oh, nice. going on to his PhD in astronomy or astrophysics. That's awesome. So, all right, who we got? We I got. I know you. Uh, you had another uh, pod podcast or something that you did. I just subscribed to it. I never knew about that. Yeah. Thanks. I, yeah, it's it's uh, it's been pretty fun because because it's just, it's a shorter thing. It's an hour, and then uh, upload the audio, upload the video, and there it is. So I, I uh, let's see. I let in uh, our Earth is bigger. Here we go. No. Yeah. Oh goodness. <laughs> What's up, Max? Do, do you do you know him? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, our Earth is bigger. Is your name? Uh, is flirf yep. is flirfing your game? Yep. <laughs> all right. Are well, you a heliosexual? Uh, no. You know it, baby. No, not at all. But uh, but the Earth is oh, definitely okay. Earth is definitely a globe. No. Yeah. Yes. How do you go about proving that? Uh, well, there's there's quite a few things. So. The the counter rotating uh, stars is is one way that we know that the Earth is a globe. The consistent you mean retrograde? The the consistent. Um, I just one 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 by one one by one. Okay. One by one. You mean retrograde? No. You mean the star retrogrades? N so no. When, the the when they, the, the counter. I'll, I'll say it again. The counter rotating celestial poles. Oh, 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 you're talking about perspective. No, I'm talking about the counter-rotating celestial yeah. poles. That's not perspective. Perspective doesn't explain uh, it. Is this, perspective, is this such a stupid, I'll, 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 perspective is a, is a reduction. Group? Hold on. Perspective is a, is a reduction in angular size with increasing distance. It doesn't make something that would otherwise move laterally appear to move circularly. So, So if all stars are going over my head and I see down south... I see them going like this, yeah, clockwise, they, they, and then I see the other side. They're going like this, counterclockwise, because my hand is going counterclockwise, and here it's going clockwise. That's the proof of a globe for you. That's one of that's one of them. Yes, yeah. The counter that's perspective. The, the counter. That's perspective. No, it's not. The counter rotating celestial poles is not due to perspective. Nothing at all to do with perspective. Perspective causes distant objects to appear smaller. That doesn't cause distant objects to mm -hmm. move in different ridiculous ways. Yeah, Max, I think I've done so a demonstration for that's your obviously uh, this live for you. Very bad for the globe. That's uh, just perspective. I, I, I don't so what's, care. What's I don't care one? about your about your denialism. So. Yeah. Okay. So the stars go goes over my head. Yeah. They go over my head. I see that way. They go over clockwise. I see this way. They go over counterclockwise that's not perspective correct that's not perspective yeah perspective would be something shrinks in <laughs> angular size as it gets farther away that's perspective all right what's the next proof bro what's the next proof oh well celestial navigation only works on a globe i have ten thousand dollars that's been sitting for a year in escrow waiting for the first flat earth to show the process of doing celestial navigation using flat earth and none can do it yet I did shortly after I issued that challenge, a, a similar challenge to to use star angle measurements 
and determine the, my position on the globe. And I had, I had the first answer within four <clears throat> minutes. And within a day, I had over 10 different answers using different methods. Yet not one flat earther can do a celestial navigation using flat earth 100% unchallenged proof that the earth is a globe. $10, so if the dollars. North Polaris star moved for about like a couple of uh, um, degrees for 4,000 years, how did they use the sextant, sextant well, back in the days without I, having any, any fucking knowledge? I don't know why you now. changed the how topic the so instantly. Back in you the day? instantly changed the topic. No, I'm talking about celestial navigation, bro. That's a sextant. That's yeah, what they huh? used back in the days, bro. Ba back in what days? You know, you know what a sextant is, right? Of course. The celestial navigation challenge is, is centered on the, on the GCF. sextant. Yeah. Yeah, when when did they use Polaris only and the sextant? Give me the year. They don't they don't they don't have to use Polaris only. They had well, astrolabes, bro. You know what an astrolabe uh, is? Sure, of course I do. Yeah. Before computers, they had astrolabe. Yes, yes. You know what an astro you know an astrolabe is? Yes, I do. But why what don't you it? why don't you explain for the audience because I have uh, wait, 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 several hundred let's see. I have three hundred and fifty people it, it, on YouTube that, that are waiting for you to explain what an astrolabe is. Go ahead. Okay. It's an old device, okay, an old device before computers that was made to track all the stars. How, how does it work? Every single one of them. How does it work? How does it work? Yeah. yeah. You know how it works. I, I don't know the, the, the minor, so you, finer so details of it. So you don't know it, how it works. But that's what they use. So you they don't know how all, it works. all the star plotted down. So why did you bring it up if you didn't know how it works? They had all the stars. Hold on, hold on. They had all the stars, all the constellations that are still the same while we we're moving at 1.2 million miles Wait, hold on, hold through the galaxy. Still the same. 2.4 million same. miles in 24 yeah. hours. You said still the same. Burden of proof. <laughs> Send the measurements that they're is still it, the is same. Is this a red card? <laughs> yeah, by the way, uh, Toon, if you want to invert your camera, you can, so it won't be uh, oh, mirrored. How do I do that? It, uh, <clears throat> very bottom right, it should just be a hand, and there should be a mirror button. Oh, there it is. All right. Enhance. Yeah. So Filters. there, there's, there's never, there was never a conservation change in four thousand years. Burn of proof. So the stars always S have send, stayed. Send the thing. measurements. They only move. Send the measurements. They only move. Yeah, send, it might send be the effects. You're paused, north, by the way, right now. For six I'm paused. Months, and they come back to the south for six months, and All that's right. how it goes. I'm waiting. The next, I'm the waiting. Next year, the next, the next year, it's like clockwork. And the stars will be again in the same position, just Hello. a couple of days. Hello, off, Hello. But they I'm waiting. Change. Are you are they you intentionally change. not not supplying the the evidence to support your claim because you don't have any? Where is your where are your measurements? Okay, so measurements. Where are the measurements? So name me one send constellation the that has changed for four thousand years. Send the measurements. You're the one making the claim. You are switching. You're shifting the burden of proof. Where are the measurements? Brother, where are the measurements? He's a fucking adult. And told me which constellation measurements. has changed Where for 4,000 years. You made the claim. Where are the measurements? You made the claim. Where are the measurements examples, that the, that the, I'll wait for you. the, the constellations Give have never one moved? Send the measurements. I, I, you're oh, the one that yeah. made the claim. Not me. You have the burden of proof. Where Maybe is it? One where, constellation. Where Maybe are... One constellation. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Are you Are you waving the white flag right now? <laughs> Just, just say, just say you give up that you you want to re retract your claim bro, because you cannot support your claim with evidence. You're a loser, and that's it, bro. Right here. You're a loser, Where's, and that's it. You're the one that made the claim, not me. Where are the measurements that the constellations loser, have bro. never moved? Where are they? You're a loser, and that's it, bro. I'm sorry. Do you, you have any? Can, can you support your claim? Can you support your claim, or are you just going to be a liar? Sounds like you're a liar. Name me. One constellation That's a burden that is new in our stars shift right there. That has changed. Can, for 4, can you support years, the claim? Neptune. You're the one that made the positive claim that the stars do not move. Prevent present your evidence. Bro, you're you're present you're, your evidence. You're, I'm not even where's, gonna say it. where's your evidence? Bye bye, bro. Where's your evidence, loser? Oh, he's running. There it is. Yeah, he's running. And that is, people, that is the state of Flurf. They make these broad claims and never, never can back it up with evidence, right? They just, because they heard it from their Papa Flurf, they feel confident in parroting their Papa Flurf. And then they just, it's just a lie though. The constellations have moved. I can present evidence for it. mctune.net slash Polaris. 
has um, measurements of the position of Polaris and several other stars going back over 200 years. Not my, not my position, and though. He made the positive sources. claim, so I didn't need to make any... I didn't need to back it up. So, all right. Yeah, I, that, how do that's I, a typical max for you. I want to switch... Oh, and, um, sorry, it wasn't the... Yeah, it wasn't the enhance button. Um, it was the other one where you can flip your camera. Mm. Uh, I was looking at it on your stream More, on oh, YouTube. Oh, there it is. There it is. Flip camera. Yeah, so not flip, but it, it won't be the flip. It'll be the mirror video, or mirror your video. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is sorry, it... I, I forgot where it was. My apologies. All right, is that... Hold on. Is that fixed? There we go. Yeah, now... It... Yep, perfect. All right. Excellent. Well, I've got, I've got three waiting. Yeah, sorry. I kind of told you that, like, right in the middle of the conversation, yeah. and, like, I feel like I almost derailed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's right. Well, we've got Chris Van Am, who's going to be scared... Uh, or he's, he's going to confuse snow and ice. He thinks that snow is not ice. Oh. <laughs> so. Welcome, Chris. Like the, like the uh, yeah, so like the typical liars you guys are, you're going to point up at the sky to claim that you can prove the geometric curvature of Earth, right? Absolutely 100%. Right? What are you going to say about? To do. Okay, yep. so what are you going to say? Let's see your best evidence. You keep Celestial, saying that Max has the burden of proof. So, well, you he, have, made, he made a yeah. claim. He made a claim, so I, I I made him try to support his claim, and he refused to. So I will once again say the same thing. Celestial navigation 100% proves that the Earth is a globe. It is absolutely okay, unchallenged. Let's talk about that. No let's flat talk Earther about that. for $10,000. No flat Earther can do celestial navigation using okay, flat Earth. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about both of those points. First of all, I know somebody who did your challenge, and you didn't pay up because you're a liar. Who? Right? Name Second him. of all. Name him. Name it doesn't him. matter. I'm not name gonna, him. It doesn't matter. Name him or let me, you're gone. Let me finish the name second point. Gone. I did, did name I him or you're I gone. Name Let's him. go, buddy. That's it. Liar. Chris Van Am yeah. is a liar. So he, nobody has completed my challenge. There are three people that have tried. Trulon, a Glober, tried. Uh, Weiskopf, who was a flat earther and is now a Glober, tried. Both of them used the globe. Neither of them argued it. And then Brian Leakey tried. He's a flat earther, still is. And he got the position, but he used the globe. And he also presumed that, that light travels upward, which is what it does not do. And, and all you need to do is provide some uh, <laughs> empirical evidence for things, which he knew he couldn't do. He also used the uh, the, <laughs> the angle to uh, to Polaris, the, the nautical miles. He, yeah, that's based on the globe, so... There it is. All right, we've got. Uh, let's see. Was was it 864 Fanta that was on here before, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. All right. He can he can uh, pound sand. All right. We've got. <laughs> we've got. Uh, who is this here? D Murph. Hey, D Murph fifty fifty. Welcome. Oh, what yep. a profile Demer picture. 50 50. <clears throat> so, I wanted to. I, I'm a Glover, so maybe all this right. is not a good thing. But I I wanted to actually show. Uh, flat earthers, what a flat earth map might actually look like in 3D. Ooh. Let me see. Uh, let's see. How do I... Uh, just tap your profile picture, like, on oh, the no, box. I, I'm just figuring out. I'm just... I oh, okay. haven't had to do that before. Oh, good. All right. So I did this in 3D. I've got where the sun is here. I'm in Texas. So that's my perspective down there. And then I've got all these other views right here that you'd be seeing. So down here in Texas, my sunrise, down here in Texas, my sunrise would be way over here. And it would be way over there in the northeast. It would never rise in the east on a flat earth map, right? So as I take this earth over here and I go down around that there, you'll see it start to come in and how small it is. And as it comes over around that turn right there, this line right here is pointing west and east. This is another position of it coming in. <laughs> and that's where it's gonna be when it's actually east of you. Staying around the horizon the entire time for about at least five hours before it's gonna go nearly over your head in this position it's going to be uh more south of me and then i've got it going out again right there on the west side as it sun sets in flat earth 
Yeah. Now, just going out in a straight perspective, if I was actually going to go just straight east, we would look at it on here. And as it would be very far away, it'd be nice and tiny. And as it gets closer and closer to you, which is usually what they show as their proof, it gets closer and closer, right? But it actually gets bigger and bigger as it goes over you there. And for some reason, they think, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a change in size. And it's just so small, but it would be such a huge difference. But none of them really think about any of this for some reason. For, for all You'd the never talk. see the yes. sun going around in a circle over the Earth. Yeah. The only way this would work is if you actually had the sun at a certain distance away, and it was either going around the Earth super, super fast, or possibly, I don't know, the Earth is spinning. Could so, be. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could have a flat earther who could try to say something about this. Well, the, oh yeah, all they would but do I took is about deflect. Like five, ten minutes to make this. Yeah, that's nice. For, for yeah. all their talk of perspective, none of them actually understand perspective. It's not that complicated. Things that are well, far away yeah. appear smaller. The, the only reason I did it is because so many flat earthers say, well, when I look outside... It looks like a flat earth, but I keep on thinking about this. I'm like, if it was really a flat earth, wouldn't you see it coming from the northeast as it rises? Oh, and yeah. Just stay at the horizon going south. <laughs> you know, uh, well, I mean, but, you know, uh, you, you said they don't really think about this. Um, you could just cut off the about this part. They just don't think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got some boys that I got to put to bed tonight anyway, but uh, I'll let you guys go. Hopefully you get another for to get in here to talk about it. Maybe they've seen this and they can try to talk to you guys about it. I don't know. All right. Well, thanks. We've got Ted Craig who might who might be the the one the the flurf hero that that we're looking for. He's a he's actually a concaver. He's, oh, he actually helped with the Southern yeah, Cross yeah. experiment. Oh yeah. A con well, I can't be on here very long. Yeah, not I can't be on here for very long because I'm at work. But I just thought I'd ask ask a question, MC Toon. Um, is that offer open to concavers? If you can do celestial navigation using flat Earth, yes, yes. If you oh, can no, do celestial flat navigation no, using no. flat oh, Earth, right. sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't work. I agree with you. <laughs> so the the challenge is very specific. Um, it's a written challenge. I cannot modify the challenge. It's it's on right. my website at mctune.net. It's it's right on the top bar there. And right, okay. So if if uh, you know, I I really I I mean I think you guys are cute. Um, but I'm, I'm not probably going to customize the challenge just for concave. <laughs> no, I thought I'd ask, that's all. <laughs> that's cool. Nah, all right, mate, I'll be going. Thanks for having me on, all and right. we'll catch up soon. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Have a good one, Ted. See you, mate. He, he's, he sounded yeah. like he was in Australia. Yeah, he, uh, he was the guy in South Australia that was... Uh, help him with the Southern Cross experiment. Even though he's a concaver, he's uh, actually a super nice dude. Yeah, well, I, a lot really, of them are. really like talking with them. A lot of them are. Um, and some of them are quite, quite crazy. And for some reason, there's a disproportionately large number of concavers that have a little messiah complex. Uh, he didn't sound like he had one, but who knows? Yeah, no, Ted, is, uh, Ted is my favorite concaver, for sure. All right. Well, 864 Fanta wants to come in again. Oh my! Uh, what, do you think? Do you think he's gonna lie more? All right, let's see what he says. I think, I think he's. Uh, I think he's messing with you. Yeah. All right. Lie more? Hey, what, uh, yes. Hey, yes. I came to ask that guy. Said he had a friend that completed your challenge, uh, and uh, you didn't pay out. Was he telling the truth or was no, he, he lying? No, he was lying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't yeah, give the name. Man, yeah, you wouldn't give the name because yeah, then I, I mean, could just I that give the would, details. So for, you, for reference, would, the, yeah, the, the, the rules the, the rules of the challenge are very clear. Yeah, They're like written down. Lying. You, 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 you got to listen. You're going to have to just stop talking and listen to me. The rules of the challenge are very clear. They're written down. The acceptance... Don't need to be the, oh, my gosh. All right. Tell you what, dude. Just piss off. You, you, you lack the ability to shut the hell up when it's time for you to listen. Right? Why? Why are the the flat earthers so immature? He asks a question and then he just doesn't stop talking. 
So for everybody watching, and, and now that he can't talk over me, the rules of the challenge are very clearly written out on my website. I cannot change them. I cannot move the goalposts, which is what the Flat Earthers always want to do with their, their fake challenges. So I'll, tell, I'll go over the four things. They're written down on the website. I've done a SHA hash of them posted it in videos and on the website. I cannot change the the, the the rules or it will change the SHA hash and you'll know. The acceptance criteria is clearly stated. In order to do it, you must use only the flat earth. You must do celestial navigation based on the, the three star angle measurements that I've given and show the process for it. And then email that to me. So if I don't receive an email, uh, nobody has entered the, the challenge, and actually only two have emailed me. Wisecoff never even emailed me. Both Brian and uh, Trulon did email me. Um, then, uh, the, oh, then within, within 24 hours, or if it's 48 on a weekend, I'll send you another set of star angle measurements to apply the same process. If the same process nets the correct answer, Right? It's the same process with different stars, and that's the correct answer, then the process works. This is what celestial navigators really do when they really do celestial navigation, using the methods laid out in this book and several others. Um, and if you get it again, then hey, you won. Of course, you have to use only flat Earth. You can't use a globe. You can't use a globe map. You can't use any numbers that are baked in without giving a derivation of them using flat Earth, right? So if you're just going to use 60 nautical miles per degree, you're going to have to show where that came from because that came from the, circ the circumference of the globe. So if you're going to get 60 nautical miles per degree, you've got to show where it came from on flat Earth. Good luck with that. You have to do something else. Um... And then, then um, if you disagree, this is the important part, if you disagree with my decision, then, then there is a process to go through for arbitration. And so I asked um, everybody, all three of them, after they submitted it, would you like to go into the arbitration process? And they all said no. So Brian Leak, in fact, has in, in emails and in, in direct at, uh, questions, do you agree with my, uh, that I, that I, correctly you know applied the rules he's like yeah he he acknowledges that i did that he did not do it according to the rules so if he's saying that somebody did it then who is it because i've only received emails from two people and i i reached out to weiskopf personally so that's it there's only three people possible so someone said how do you know it came from a globe Flat Truth said that. Came, how do I know what came from a globe? I don't know. I, I think he might be talking about the, the nautical mile, the, oh, the one degree per 60 yeah, nautical so miles. Well, I mean, you can look up the history of nautical miles. Um, they, they just took the circumference of the globe and they said, well, let's divide it up into 360 degrees and then into th each degree into 60 minutes. And a minute of a degree is then a nautical mile. That's how they got that. Uh, that was so. This was done. That was this was done before they had measured the specific oblateness of the Earth. So a nautical mile isn't perfectly to one degree, uh, because because the Earth is, is slightly oblate. So it's different north than south, but not by a whole lot. So. And historically, isn't a isn't it an arc length anyway? I, I don't know why flat earthers harp on nautical miles and use them all the time when it, if I remember right, it is an arc length, you know. Yeah, it's it's normally. one sixtieth of a degree of of the the angle from the center of the earth. So, hmm. so I don't know. Good luck. Said okay, so globe is opinion. I wouldn't say that's opinion. I mean, it's one hundred percent unchallenged. No flat earther from. can do celestial navigation. So. And I can do celestial navigation using the globe, so no challenges. If you disagree, then by all means, show how to do celestial navigation. It's on my website. Uh, the, the angles, you don't need a sextant. The angles have been measured by a professional celestial navigator on a ship, on the ocean. If you do get the position, you'll know that it's a, <laughs> because it's on water. <laughs> If you if you do celestial navigation to get somewhere on land, you'll know well that process was wrong. Uh, and and the actual position isn't a, isn't 
hidden. Brian Leak found it. Found where, found my source. I'm not hiding it. He found my source. It's from a video, a, an instructional video on how to do celestial navigation. <laughs> and uh, so the process is, it's not finding the answer. It's the process that is the the actual challenge. What's the process for it? And flat earthers like to talk about triangulation and triangles and curved adjacents and all that. Doesn't matter. Show the process. Can't do it. Well, that's fine. You don't know how to do it. Um, and of course, all of these things that they say about how they think celestial navigation works is wrong. That's not how it actually works. So, I mean, you, well, you I mean, can buy you know, they, this they book. Always is, start with the, uh... This book's $18 oh, sorry. On, Didn't really cut you off. on Amazon. But yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, uh, you know, they always use those graphics where it shows like the sextant literally on the water and things like that. And uh, I don't know. It seems like they've they've confused themselves. It doesn't seem like anyone lied to them. They just got confused somewhere along the way and then called everyone a liar. Yeah. So so it's it's they they looked at at somebody's kind of juvenile or simp simplified version of how to do it. Right. And they're like, well, that must be how they really do it. But it's not how, how it's really done. So this is this is a good graphic here that shows the actual process there. You, you take an angle to the horizon to the star, one angle between the star and the horizon. There's no triangle. So there's no curved adjacent. There's no adjacent side. It's, there's no sides. There's no points. Right. There's one point. That's the observer and one angle at the observer. So there you can't get a triangle from that. It's an un angle. But, yeah, right. they, they always get a, a little bit confused, though. You know, you're, you're expecting them to understand angles. Trey still can't get his head around the fact that a triangle is 180 degrees yep. or 270. He thinks it's 360. All right. We've got Robert uh, Luscombe. Do you know him? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> I just want to let you know that uh, the other day I was talking to some uh, a group of flurfers, and I actually got them to agree that uh, water in low gravity will form a sphere, uh, referencing the parabolic uh, uh, flight. And they actually did agree to it. They're like, yeah, it, it does happen. But then 30 minutes later, it was water will always find its level. So, you know, they did the, the what was it, the, the, the floor for reset? The floor for reset, <laughs> yep. Yeah. The floor yeah. for reset just is real. Those, you know, I thought that was pretty funny. I didn't believe. <laughs> a month ago, I didn't believe. I have witnessed it personally now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it happens. It usually happens when they sleep, right? You'll talk to them one day. The next day they come back, they're they're doing the same stuff. But it happens live in debates. Yeah, give them 25 so, minutes. They they completely forgot. You already addressed that point. <laughs> yeah. They're like, prove this to me. Like, we, we already talked about it. Or, or the... Uh, All right, I just wanted to bring that up. All right, thank you. I just want to bring that up. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and bounce out. Thank you. All right. I love it when they're like, how come I can't feel the Earth rotate? Like, well, what part of the human anatomy feels constant <laughs> linear velocity? None. I, I just always ask them, okay, let's assume that we're going to feel it. What What is that going to feel like? What, which direction? And then I try to walk them through it. I try to get them to... Uh, apply some basic math themselves they normally get lost along the way but oh, that's a good, that's a good idea stuff. yeah i try to i try to let them find out the answer rather than me giving it to them because if i give it to them you know i'm just a paid nasa shill <laughs> of course uh let's see Lael says i disagree flurfs hate my very simple question in relation to flat earth observations um i don't know specifically what he's talking about but yeah, I mean, there's so many observations we can ask about, like like the guy showing how the, the sun would move around flat Earth. That just doesn't match reality. The sun could never set due to perspective. But they don't know how to apply perspective. Perspective is just their get-out-of-jail-free card. They use it whenever they get stuck. So Someone said, uh, do you see what you guys are basing your reality on, though? Yeah, objective truth. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than subjective, you know, feelings. Yeah, we, we can we can measure it. I personally measured the radius of the Earth four times. Somebody so, and you know that the the, um, the flurf when when they when you present them evidence, they're like, "Well, did you do it yourself?" Well, hold on a second. You just showed a video from somebody else, so obviously your standard of evidence isn't that you must do it yourself because you've already. But fine, I did measure the radius of the Earth myself, and then they never have an answer. Well, 
<laughs> I show them how, how I did it, and they never have an answer to that. I don't know why. Guess they yeah. do know. Well, why. I mean, also if uh, if there's no video of it, it's not science, so we got to throw out everything, you know, prior to, <laughs> what, like a hundred years ago, anything before then. Even actually sooner than that, I don't know when the camera came out. But yeah, anything before then, not real science, just yeah. made up. If there isn't a video of it, it didn't happen apparently. Unless <laughs> there is, if there is a video of it, then it's fake. Yep. Um, then it did happen, but it's actually just them lying to you. They, they lied to make it happen. <laughs> so, all right, any more flurps on TikTok? Come on in. Lael says, uh, doesn't the starship hitting the dome create a problem for flat Earth in relation to the altitude of the sun? It certainly does, because that wasn't that wasn't very high when it blew up. But have you seen that flat earthers have claimed that it hit the dome? Yeah, even though it was losing altitude, I don't know it, it was what on its it way missed down. on its way up that it hit on its way down. <laughs> well, a, and many videos going much much higher with with rockets. So. Oh yeah, things that how, they claim themselves. The, how high is the dome now? Is it? What was it? Sixty kilometers? I don't know. Uh, they're, they just say Van Allen radiation belts now, and then I ask them how far that is, and they say, I don't know. <laughs> however far it needs to be to support their fantasy. Yeah, however far to make you wrong. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Well, we've got product of evolution. I'm guessing not a flurf. Good, good morning. Good morning. I don't know. I can't even <laughs> see him. So, so I had this uh, epiphany recently, so I did... Uh, I speak with someone uh, like an Israeli flurf. It's a it's a different uh, kind of flurf. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm uh, originally like Russian Israeli. So I, I joined uh, also some uh, discussions with uh, Hebrew speaking flurfs. It's very interesting actually. It's interesting to see it uh, <laughs> from their perspective. Perspective, right? Now uh, one thing that uh, I noticed while I researched, I, I actually. No I discussed with this guy, uh, had like private discussion with this guy, yeah. Uh, and then I noticed something, I had an epiphany. So I looked at the Walter Bislett's uh, uh, Flat Earth model, right? Yep. And what I noticed is that if you look at the sun, so right, uh, Lord's claim that uh, perspective, uh, so the sun, sun rays cannot travel forever, and uh, uh, like uh, uh, how it sets, it's, it, it just basically cannot uh, reach your eyes because it's too far, right? Now, what I noticed is that when the sun, uh, the, the first half of the year in the model, right, regardless the height of the dome you, you said there in the model, right, the first half of the year, the sun would be the, the highest, right? It would yeah. be the, in the uh, uh, highest position then, uh, but it illuminates the least amount of Earth. So you yeah. have like in the first, in the first one, so like you have this concentrated spot underneath the, the sun, right? Well, and if you set, well, if you look at the half. second half of the year, no, but if in the model, if you look in order to consolidate, reconcile with the their model flat Earth, right? You need to <laughs> bend light, right? Yeah, kind, so, kind of like how they compare it if, to lifting a flashlight above a table. Yeah, you know, the higher yeah, up yeah, it but then, the should but then, it. Yes, yeah. but then if you actually go to the second half of the year, it's like day one. Uh, I think the, the, was the uh, was one sixty seven. I think and and. T until the 365, right? Then sun illuminates uh, more of the Earth than it, than there's a darkness, right? Right. So like this yes. spot of darkness, it's like reversing reversing role. Now, but then the sun is lower in the sky relative. Well, yeah, like, and, and it somehow it has to reach uh, reach around the edges too. Yes. Right. If the yeah, sun's so, here, so it's lower in the sky. How, how does but how it, does it travels Australia further get away? It? That's weird. Yeah, like, that's, that, that, that's like that's kind of that that's kind of completely destroys the perspective idea, right? Because they say sun cannot travel far, but yet if it's lower in the sky, somehow it travels further than if it is high in the sky. Well, so see, I got I, I had this epiphany like you, you actually you, you can like rotate you can rotate this uh, you can like uh, scroll through the days and you can see how sun behaves in their model and it's kind of. Not only count, counterintuitive, it's 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 absurd. Yeah. So it's, it's completely like you know, it, it destroys their own arguments. So this model is is impossible <laughs> at all. Like I, I I don't 
see like how <laughs> at every, all. Every everything anyway, in your this... models is impossible. So, ha are you familiar with Round <laughs> yeah. uh, Round Thinker? Um, he, no. Nope. He's an Israeli uh, with a with a, a YouTube channel. Yeah, his name's Neriel. And uh, yeah, he does he does okay, Hebrews no. Hebrew videos mostly. So go look okay, him up. Look him up on YouTube. Uh, yeah, He's I just recently uh, got exposed to that, so I'll I'll look into that. Yeah, definitely. Well, interesting. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm here, at Walmart. So I'll keep walking here. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Enjoying your lives. Bye. Bye. Uh, let's see. We got PG Tony said uh, the the constellations that constitute the zodiac. Uh, and then he says, oh, oh, uh, huh? oh, Fucus, probably got that wrong, is now part of the celestial zodiac. Ophicus, Ophicus is part of the zodiac. I don't know what that is. I don't either. Yeah. I'll have to look into it. P, P. Barnes, P. Barnes said the flurp reset card. <laughs> she, she get a flurp reset card for this. Where did you guys get those from? I've seen you and Julius both yeah. using them, and it's it's hilarious. So Julius Dedekind is another TikToker, and I saw him using these, and I'm like, oh, I should get it out. So I've had these for a while. Um, it's it's from uh, yourlogicalfallacy.com sells them, or your logical fallacy oh, nice. is. Just Google that, and they sell the fallacy cards, and then they have these other um, this other set of uh, your bias your bias cards. It's it's whole, awesome. It's like whole, it's like pulling a red card on somebody. <laughs> yeah. So all right, we've got we've got somebody in the wings here. We gotta check out. But uh, let me read this. Uh, Three news once. <laughs> you can't have trilateration without a, a container. <laughs> if you heard dearth, <laughs> dearth, you can't do. Claiming you can't spectroscopy oh without gosh, a container. What an Whatever that even moron. means. He's just. <laughs> Dumb beyond I, dumb. I ran him off TikTok. He after he had his uh, quote unquote debate with me, he just talked over me most of the time. He uh, he went into KC's live to have him console him, and he said he's not doing TikTok debates anymore. No, he he can't debate. He refuses to debate. So. Yeah, apparently, KC talked him into it, and apparently, I talked him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Mr. B Dazzle. D B Dazzle does some excellent flurf busting music. Uh, and he's on he's on uh, YouTube and TikTok. So if you haven't found him on both of those platforms, go ahead and, and uh, find him there because the um, I love this the my favorite song is "Got a Light of Flirt." Absolutely appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. I'm really just just in and out to see what's up, man, to you guys, and uh, you know I don't have anything to add to the conversation. Well, glad you're here. I I keep thinking that I'm going to do like a top 10 Fleur Flies video. And guess, well, guess who I'm coming to to ask about mu music in it. I'll have... Uh, hey, I'm, I'm all down for it, man. All right, I'll, I'll put <laughs> clips of your song in between each of the 10. I have another one I haven't released yet. It's called Red Pill of Youth. <laughs> is, is that about Nathan Thompson talk, talking to the kids? <laughs> Basically, the <laughs> yes. I'm a flat smack him. I can't right. believe he said that during that video. Oh, so dumb. And then at the end, that's how you I'm, do I'm, it. I'm, uh, that's how you do it. I'm trying to trying to wait till I get home so I can um get get all the kids like my nieces and nephews, and I'm gonna pass get some red jelly beans and red pill to you. <laughs> oh <my> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Re Repo Sandman said, actually, never mind. You don't actually need a container for pee drinking. You can just go direct. Sheesh. Yeah. I mean, so, uh, Dave Murphy's got some skills if he can do that. Yeah, I'm a, um, I just wanted to say what's up, guys. Uh, my wife's about, we're in this truck and she's about to start cooking, so I don't want to have all this noise going on around in the background. So. All right, well, thanks oh, for coming man. on. I'll, I'll, I'm still listening. All right, PHT Tony uh, gave the pronunciation for that. That um, constellation says uh, "off eucus." Off eucus. So whatever that is, um, I'll have to look up that constellation. But uh, we've got somebody, got somebody coming in here. 
Mike. I love this guy. Mike check one two. Oh, nice. Dude, I love Mike check one two. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing, yeah, man? Since the last time I talked to you, Mike, you've pulled like a full 180. It's crazy. Well, it's not necessarily a full 180. I, I think I've been transparent about why I leaned one way and, and then why I started coming back the other way. And, uh, you know, I think my whole endeavor here is just putting the onus on all these folks with the confidence uh, to make these claims to, to back it up. You know, and I've tried to act as sort of sort of a neutral arbiter, so to speak, is to sort of say, hey, this is their argument. This is their argument. I can see both ways, but wait a second. This is what's starting to stick. And then getting the the sort of uh, the pushback, right? A lot of the nah -uhs and then the defamation of my character and I must be a shill now, like I'm no longer on their side. So now I must be on the other side. That's been such a neat thing to witness because I actually know where I stand, mm. which is neutral. <laughs> <laughs> and so to have like these sort of, uh, you know, to see the psychological reactions, right, or, or to analyze the reactions in a psychological way, and, and to sort of learn more about why people feel so, so strongly about things. And it really has to do with mistrust, right? People feel they've been burned in life, and now they feel like they're onto something, right? Yeah, certainly <laughs> many people have, and, and uh, you know, there, there are plenty of organizations that are not trustworthy. Right, but we sure, can we sure, can go. Yeah, the government has we earned can, its distrust. Absolutely, but that doesn't mean that 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 doesn't mean that we need to now distrust one hundred percent of everything that comes from them. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, is it really the uh, the Southern Cross that you think like uh, changed it for you, like changed your your mindset, or what? So, so the idea of like trusting, right? The idea of like. Um, authority right appeals to authority i always find that that to be an interesting uh thing right like my daughter who's four like her life depends on appeals to authority like we all at certain points depend on appeals yeah, to when authority. you're four yeah but authority right, right. <laughs> but authority itself right authority <laughs> itself is like a gun right a gun could be good or bad right those who have authority those who have power can wield it in good or bad ways right and so the, the idea of trusting authority, I always find that funny because, of course, we're going to use our own intuition, uh, you know, and our own experience about whether or not we trust the authority, right? And so the same folks that tell us there's stars and planets and everything are the guys that, you know, designed airplanes. <laughs> so, you know, I trust them. <laughs> you know, like, like there's if, this. If there's... you fly in a plane, you have to trust them. Right, but I don't know how it operates, right? Like, I'm just appealing to an authority there. Like, there's times I appeal to it, there's times I don't. I, I understand the argument, but that in itself is not a conclusion. It's just where you start, you know? And, and for me, it wasn't just landing on the southern stars of the Antarctic uh, sun, because I myself have not been to the southern hemisphere to witness the southern stars. I myself have not gone to Antarctica to witness, uh, the, you know, the 24-hour the sun. So, yes, you could argue I'm appealing to authority, but I think it's a rational appeal to so, authority. So, d let, me, let, me read, <laughs> let me read the appeal to authority here on the, the card here, right? Sure. Using the opinion or position of an authority figure or institution of authority in place of an actual argument. Unable okay. to defend yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. his argument that the earth <laughs> is flat. That's... Bob Bob said that his friend Terry had a qualified botanist who also believed the earth is flat and had seen it from up in a tree. So it's a little bit of a contrived thing there. But the point of the, the right, appeal right, to authority right, 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 right. Is, is this guy is a doctor. Therefore, whatever he says about whatever is yeah. true. Oh, right, yeah. right. True, but right. if if somebody is has some actual expertise in a certain field, and then they're talking about something within that certain field, that's not the appeal to mm -hmm. authority fallacy. It's the appeal to his evidence. <laughs> yeah, and right? so so well, and that's not no, that's not yet evidence, right? So if 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 somebody well, has a certain level of expertise and they're talking about something through that expertise, that's not evidence either. Uh, but evidence okay. isn't an appeal to authority, and 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 sometimes flat earthers will will just say appeal to authority when I cite some evidence. Like, where, where'd you mm -hmm. get that from? So if somebody else goes and sees 
uh, the Southern Cross, and then they say, I saw the Southern Cross. That's not an appeal to authority. Right. right. That's no, their evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so, they, that they said. And so then you can go to multiple people and see right, if they have right, matching right. evidence. But that's that's what's being thrown at me is that, like, because I believe when Globy did his experiment, which is so bizarre. Like, I don't even need Globy's experiment. Like, I know that people in the Southern yeah. Hemisphere, South America, South Africa, Australia, I know that they see the Southern Star. I know that they point their compass south, not only when they look at the sky, but also when they want to like drive to Walmart or something like like I know that like compasses work in the south, like for all like argumentative purposes. I don't need to go to South America to know that like it just it, it, it's just amazing to me, like how suggestion of, hey, you know, when you go to the southern hemisphere and then the, the, the magnetic pole pulls on the south pull of the compass a little differently and it causes it to drag down that means compasses don't work you know like or or when somebody holds like a, an iphone together against another place and, and and there's magnetic or there's a digital interference on the iphone that means iphone compasses don't work like like no it doesn't like people navigate using google maps you know I, apple maps all the time yeah. it's telling you what direction you go so these aren't necessarily appeals to authority. These are appeals to my own experience, even though I've never been there myself. Like, it, it, I don't know, man. I, my brain is hurting just trying to come up with like a rationale for how this could make sense. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's beyond me because I've been honest this whole time. And for me, it's not about space pictures. You know, arguments about uh, photography. You know, the, the ways that atmospheric conditions can, 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 can work. We've seen how, like, even arguments about the black one. Those debates are never settled. Flat yeah. Earth people um, never, about the never black, accept it. The black swan. Oh, black swan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the black swan. Right. Or even, what is it, the, uh, the peak, oh, man, peak does. Oh, man, uh, peak Gaspard. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And how you've done that, right, Globe? And like you've shown how, like, no, that's actually what you would expect to see is like you would expect to see just that much of the tip, you know, like, like that's what you would want to see. The model fits, and then that somehow becomes a critique. Oh, oh, yeah, of course it fits the model. Well, like, yeah, it does. Like, where's your model? <laughs> well, they're they're claiming <laughs> that they start that. The whole, this is important. The the whole thing entering that is they're claiming that our model doesn't work. And w then they incorrectly apply our model. And then we come back and say, I'm sorry, you did that wrong. You need to actually use our model to test our model. And they don't like that. But, you know, so, incorrectly. Oh, let so me that's find another it. thing about me that I, that's another thing I, I think I brought to the table that a lot of flat earth, you know, sort of researchers, right? Like true earth researchers didn't bring this to the table, which is humility. <laughs> right? Like I quickly realized throughout this process that there's a lot of smart people out here that are willing to explain these things if you're just willing to listen. And you've got to be able to learn about the things that you thought were a little peculiar. And the moment you go to learn about them and find out, wait a second, there's actually people who've thought about these problems. There's people that have written about this. There's, there, there's a whole <laughs> body of work behind this. Yeah. Right. And you start to look into it. And you realize the opposition doesn't even know that argument. Like, if you're going to tell me about music, like if you witness me play a song or something and you're like, dude, you don't know what you're doing on guitar, but like you don't have any musical background. Like, if you just say that, like, prove it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like can, say something that, that makes you, me know that you know. what. Can I'm, you play a G right. chord? Wait, wait. Right. <laughs> Can, can, but but can you just can you just articulate what even a G chord is? Yeah, you know the notes in a G chord, right? And then when I start to talk about the notes in a G chord, and you're like, dude, that's just brainwashing pseudoscience. <laughs> Wait, no, that's that's just theory. That's just music theory. You have to. Prove, like, I know what music is. Music. I can dance to it. I don't need to know what a G chord is to dance to a G chord. Well, man, no shit. But but can you produce it? <laughs> by by the way, uh. Tune, I, I saw your, your chat. They seemed to like when Mike said just the tip. Yes, <laughs> just the tip. Um, they got excited. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, people are, people are uh, what are they? Uh, 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 you know, they got a lot of frustration. So, yeah. Well, I mean, 
people do like the double entendre. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right, there's 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 no more there's no more flurfs in the wings at the moment. So any any of flatties that are that are in here, um, but for reference so, for, for those, just I, Mike Mike, I don't think everybody quite knows the background, but uh, Mike, you were on here as well over a year ago, I think, right? Yeah. And, yeah, uh, I was trying to, I was just trying to articulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some and at the time, you right. were, you, you probably put yourself into the the flat Earth camp, right? So at that time, like if you watched my TikTok videos, you would see like an update that said I was like on my on my page. It would say I was seventy five percent flat and twenty five percent globe, right? Like I was kind of given variables about just weighing the evidence, you know, as as the arbiter of the of the debate, and. uh but honestly, my 75% flurf versus globe was really just based on ignorance. Like as I went through this process, I learned a lot and everything I learned, right? Like they, they often say, once you go flat, you don't go back. If you're honest, there's, you go back. There's you know, multiple, that's the way yeah. I feel. That's been my experience. My experience is if you're honest and humble as you do the research, yeah, of course you go back. Sorry. Yeah. That's just been my so, experience. So are you and people hate that. Do you still give numbers? That, but you still give numbers experience. for where you are? <laughs> oh no, dude. I'm like so I'm I'm saying I'm ninety nine point nine nine globe only because I haven't gone to South Africa myself, only because I haven't seen the Antarctica sun for myself, only because I'm not an astronaut. So like for those reasons, because I haven't independently verified all of this and I don't have like Einstein level like, you know, expertise about physics. Yeah, I gotta say ninety nine point nine, but that's just me being honest, you know. Yeah, so, and, and and how much concave are you? <laughs> God, dude, like zero. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can assure you, I've never looked up and seen so India many, above me. Like, 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 I don't think eclipses exist on a concave Earth. Like, how do you even explain an eclipse in that in that realm? <laughs> they they have all sorts of wacky wacky ideas for how light has to bend. Just right way more arbitrary light bending than flat earth even has so i think globe made a video about this globe man made a video about this which i agree with it's one of the things that kind of pushed me back to the other side is every little like what about this with flat earth kind of opens up a whole nother can of worms with another theory that they were throwing out like it contradicts another theory of theirs it's the like, off and they, they diagonal want to you heard me talk so about that? So they want to compartmentalize each flat earth thing. They don't want the flat earth to be like holistic. Because <laughs> if you holistic, if you if, if you put it all in the same basket, you, you wind up having a bunch of contradictions. So Yeah. <laughs> well so, yeah, you, so you have to be able to explain things simultaneously. So when you exactly. when you say, Well, where's the sun? They'll say, Well, the sun is here. But then you say, But yeah, how yeah. can the sun illuminate in this big horseshoe 100%. shape, and then they get that that glass dome that they put over it, and then they have the flashlight outside. Well, wait a second, just just a little bit ago, you said that the sun was here, and now the sun is outside right. this dome thing. Which is it? They contradict each other. Right. And so you'll notice with that dome thing too. What's really cool about that experiment is the light is pointed in the middle, but there's um, a border light, right? Like there's a there's a light that goes around the bowl. And it goes down to the edge of the bowl, and it comes up the bowl, right? I mean, how beautiful of a sunrise or sunset would that now, be? That, if that our would sky, be crazy. Right? Yeah. And we never, ever get that that phenomena of, like, the, the light going, <laughs> you know, like, like, it would happen, like, at least twice a year, according to that model. Like, we'd get this, like, crazy, like, light show in the sky where the sun's light is, like, this crazy just this beam of, of extreme magnified light where the sun itself is bright, but that edge of the bowl that's that, that that's being illuminated would be just as bright. It comes right? from like, all like, over the place. And we never see that illumination. Yeah. We never see that. <laughs> right? Because when you see that, when you put the bowl there and you put a flashlight to it, you not only do you have that central light, but you have the, ref, the, the outer edge light. And when have you ever looked out in the sky and seen light like that? I don't know, you, you could just be uh, like dirt and you could just claim that you're the only person to have ever seen the sun just fade into nothingness. <laughs> and that's a crazy thing. I mean, claims it, are... it would have to happen yeah. every single time for every single observer, not just once. And that's my criticism. Like, that's my criticism of Flat Earth. It's like, 
wait a second. You're criticizing Globe for having like indoctrination, reams and reams and reams of data, but it's like reams and reams of data that is entirely consistent, like predictable, like every year. And like these scientists, not for nothing, they got their egos on the line. They devote their lives to discovery. Like scientists squabble. They don't get along. They fight with each other. Like their livelihoods are on the line. Their egos Dude, are on the line. Peer like, review They're sucks. not the nice... Peer of course, other, right? The other scientists want to shoot you down. It's not a bunch yeah, of people you know agreeing with each other. People? Right. And like, thank God that they do this. Like, I'm sorry that they got to go. I mean, it, it sucks to, to, to devote your life to something and maybe have some guy come and shit all over it. But we need that for the discovery process. That yeah. makes the scientific process better, you know? And, if and it was just like, a bunch of people agreeing with each other. We would never get anywhere. Yeah. And that's kind of what Flurf is. There's a bunch of people sort of, hey, I mean, when I first got into the community, like when I was like making questions, man, you, you, you'd you be surprised how, how nice people were, how welcoming people were, how, how they just really wanted to create a, a safe, comfortable environment for me to be there with them. But the moment I started to ask questions about what they were saying or what they believed, I, I got pushed back out. Yeah. Um, you know? Miss Mr. Toffee, and, and I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Mr. Toffee says, "I want to see some flat Earth evidence for once," and we've got awesome possum one two five Hello. eight nine. Uh, are are you the one? Awesome possum. It's a great name. Hi, uh, I'm a globe believer. So, if you're looking for uh, someone to debate, I'm sorry, but well, uh, you will uh, have I heard as you much talking about one of my favorite. You'll have as much flat Earth evidence as every flat Earther has ever presented. So. We got that. You got that all the evidence you. of the globe. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys ahead. were talking about the pattern of the sun. I just wanted to mention that uh, the closest explanation I have for them, they describe you know the sun moving over a disc um, in the Tropic of Cancer, and the opposite one. I asked them, well, they're moving at the same, they're moving the the same um, time, so one has to be moving across the sky faster because yeah. it's on the outside track the ones on the inside but they don't appear to change size or speed and the best explanation they have so far is they are yo-yoing their distance between the surface of the planet and the um so does that make sense they're yo-yoing their distance yeah, so if like they're they moving say faster it's, it's higher at some point yeah. it's lower at some point None of that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. It has it, it to have a, it a, higher, really make sense. a higher angular momentum when it's uh, on the outside than when it's on the inside. So something has to cause it to speed up, provide energy to it, and then something has to take away that energy. No explanation provided. You, you guys are thinking yeah. too hard, you know. You're adding too much stuff. Just turn off the brain, and suddenly it works. <laughs> I know. It's yeah, expecting eventually answers. they fall back to, well, it's a big TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're getting, and, a, we're getting a lot of globers asking... in here. So <laughs> we, need, <laughs> party. We, need, we need some, we need some flurfers in here to come come challenge us, people. we got flurf alert coming in. Yeah, I'll drop down as soon as one pops up. Oh, shit. Yeah, the avoidance is is palatable, you know. What's going on, fellas? Long time no speak. Hey. Uh, is your ear like there's the uh, the thing going back and forth? Are you something connecting? Yeah. Am I? Can you hear me now? I do hear you. Yeah, you're. you're oh, okay. Me now. Yeah, the people oh, in the sorry. comments probably won't be able to hear him. Um, for your YouTube, it'll be fine, but the people on TikTok probably won't be able to if it's still loading on your end. Uh -huh. Maybe. I guess Whoa, are we'll you have on, to ask them. Are you on YouTube and TikTok right now? I am. How, how do I mod oh, somebody? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, just tap on their name, and then there's three little dots in uh, the top right of like the pop-up that comes up. There you go. Just hit add moderator. Um, all right. Yeah, I got to get better at understanding how all this works. Yep. I, I, I haven't had the 10 minutes at any mod mods yet, so. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, on, on YouTube, there's 450 watching. And on TikTok, there's 138. So there we go. Nice. So, um. Oh, he, he dropped out. Okay, let me. Oh, yeah. Let me read a couple that things video here. That video. The YouTube video I did with you. Yes. 
I've been on the fence. Like, I don't know if it matters. Like, maybe for posterity, it'd be good to just have it up there, you know, to see the the change. But it kind of there there were some moments in there where I kind of felt like I was. You know, my character was a little made fun of, and you know, there's some moments I, I didn't, I didn't think I shined too well. I'm, I'm happy to take it down or unlist it if you want. Well, I don't know. I was just, uh, I was just wondering what, what you guys thought about that. Like, do you think it's just important for the, for the trajectory uh, of, you know, because like this character whole flat earth you know? stuff is not really for us. It's, it's for everybody, really, right? Like, it's for the world to see. So I don't know. Does it matter? Am I just worried too much about my own little ego, or, or should we just keep it out I, there? I would. I, I would happily take it down, and, and if I were you, I would probably say take it down. All right, and well, then take it down then. And all right, I will. Um, all right, thank because you. I because it. people will maybe search and find you. And I don't know if that's your name or not or whatever, but uh, you know, what's out there is out there, and so you know, once it's on yeah. the internet, it's never really gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe do so a follow up. I'm not a, I'm not ashamed of it. Like yeah. I, I don't want to sound like I'm ashamed of it, but I, I also I also cringe a little bit when I went back and watched it, and I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, someone in the comments said it a second ago, uh, maybe do a follow up, you know, like an update video just yeah. uh, so everyone knows, you know, everyone okay. gets a little content out of it. Too. Yeah, maybe we can do something like that. Maybe we can do something like that then. Maybe All you right. can add bits of this to it. <laughs> so, OK. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good point. Well, then th then that adds to the argument that it's actually just good for posterity. It doesn't really have anything to do with me. Sh shows character development and everything. You know, people can go back and say, look. You know, I can relate to this guy now. I can relate yeah. to him back then. I hear you. Maybe maybe it's for the best. Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm good. You know, if anybody ever confronts me with it, I'm, I'm perfectly capable of explaining myself if I need to. I guess it doesn't matter. Thanks for working it out with me, fellas. <laughs> All right. User uh, Bunch of Numbers says, Globe Scientist Globe Man says, just turn off your brain. Wow. Uh, <laughs> thank you for calling me a scientist. I never claimed to be that, but thanks, I guess. What do you do for a for a living? Or what's right your... now, I'm just a, a hobbyist. I'm trying to save up money to go to school. Uh, I'm kind of an open book right now. Right. Good, kind of deciding between maybe going down like a route of physics or maybe engineering. Not really sure yet. Um, oh, wow. I don't know what Globy does. Sounds kind of cool. Maybe like aerospace engineer of some sort. I think that's what he was, if I remember right. He works with uh, satellites, I think. Yeah, he definitely works with satellites. Uh... That, that's why people call him a NASA shill. But that, um, that's what's crazy. I think he's a contractor. I, I don't think he. Uh... Hey, NASA does a lot through <laughs> contractors. The shill? No, it, it's it's amazing. You know, what you I mean, know, government does. I worked there, for the government for years. There are people that actually really create, design, you know, write the software, you know, create the hardware for a satellite, send it up, and then interact with it after it's been launched and it's orbiting. Right. How would you fake that to that right, person who created it? Job, it's, yeah, I spoke to somebody one time on a live, and this was another one of the things that they talk about flat smack. I guess this was a globe smack, but uh, you know, just a, a a gentleman who whose job was literally to make sure that his company's satellites didn't run into other satellites. So, like at a given time during the month, when they knew their orbits would be in a danger zone. They would have to log on to this satellite and then log on to the other satellite and track it and make sure that they weren't going to hit. And if they were, they would do something to one of the satellites so that they moved. But they, it wasn't like they had to monitor it all the time because they knew that they only came into dangerous pass at certain times, just like every other orbit that we're aware of. So for me, like that was kind of a moment where I'm like, all right, this dude's job is doing that. Like how like. I already know from working with the government and working with people how sort of uh, incompetent my leaders were at times <laughs> and how, you know, how broken the system seemed to be at times and everything like that. So just imagine how perfect a system would have to be to employ people whose job it is to guide satellites around the, their orbit, but fake it the whole time. Yeah, that's yeah. something. All right, we've got... Uh... Flat Earthers will claim compartmentalization, so... So AJ let's said geologist. Let's hear get excited about rocks like that. Compartmentalization would do that. All right. We yeah, have Flirt Flirt joined, so. and then Big Daddy Russ 3. Welcome. What's happening? I've it's been a long time, guys. Mike, Mike, I had a question for you. Um, you were pretty tight with Robbie and a bunch of those other Flat Earth guys. Oh, Did you so get funny. any... 
We're still oh, yeah, so I was just curious. You still you still talk to them? You didn't get any major pushback from them or anything? Well, look, we have a major difference when it comes to the shape of our Earth, but, you know, I happen to be a human being just like them, and, man, we, we have so much in common uh, regardless of this, and that's outside of this, you know? Like, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, they're, they're good people. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good to hear. But do, yeah, you, do you still debate? you still debate the subject oh, at all? of course, or? man. Like, you should see our text thread. I mean, we talk about everything. Like, Robbie's expecting, like, real fly McCormick. He's expecting a baby girl right now. Just, you know, so happy oh, nice. for him and, and, and looking forward to that. You know, he's got a new life in Texas, kicking ass as a, as a bartender, and he plays music as well. You know, but he's, he's also very religious, and he's also very, very strong-willed about the, the, the flat earth. I mean, but whatever, man. Like, man, we're all people, no, no. you know? <laughs> like, that's, that's cool. A, that's I'm, just curious, I'm just like, curious to know I, if he's, so if much respect he's for his opinion at all, or... What's that? I was just curious to know if, you know, some of the things you've told him about, you know, on how you've changed your mind have made him rethink oh, things man. at all or no. That's what's that's honestly like you see the frustration that comes through in my videos, especially my my response videos that are on TikTok. Um, there that frustration comes through as well, like in my friendship with him, like, you know, and I would say that I do have a, a friendship with him because we've we've extended our connection beyond the app. Right. And uh, him and a couple other people. Right. Um, and and uh, for me, it's it, it's just like, you know, like I'm going to be real like this is like and for and I, I think that's why Robbie doesn't attack me the way that he attacks other people. Right. Like, right. Like he knows that I'm honest. He knows that I'm being real. So he actually sticks to the so substance of Robbie, what I'm talking about. Right. And doesn't attack my person. Yeah. Yeah. Robert McCormick. Yeah. yeah. OK. So I call him Robbie. Like, he's my buddy. Like he actually is my buddy, like offline kind of deal. But, it, you know, we developed our friendship through the app. Right. Which is interesting. Right. And so we became friends when I was leaning on that side and he's had to stay my friend as I've gone to the other side. And, <laughs> and I've had to tell him, like, dude, you're getting close to talking shit right now. Like, remember, we're friends, right? Like, we, <laughs> we know about each other's families. We talk about things other than this. Like, but that's me. That, that's who I am, right? Authentically. Like, I, I, do, I do not want to fight with people. Like, man, all of us are just having a time in this world. Like, we're all struggling in, in one way or another. And... Uh, it's, it's better to have a friend than not. So that that's what I want to be. Hey, know? Mike. Really cool. All right, Mike. We, I want to hear. Mike, was there one? Oh, and I want to hear from Big Daddy Russ. Oh, shit. I don't know how, that I have much to add other than I have a very short bucket button. It <laughs> gets a lot. And uh, I, can, I can tolerate anything. I can interact. I've never met a stranger. But the minute these flat earthers just start spewing out nonsense that they know is not real, <laughs> I fucking snap. I, I like literally go into orbit. I circle around and I hit like stage three rocket burn straight back into the ground. And it's all, all these over. puns are great. These are great puns. By the way. <laughs> I did it this morning with this kid. Uh, I got truth by science was like, oh, my God, a new flat earther. And I got in there and with him. Within 90 seconds, he kicked me out because I swore at him. And then he screwed up and let me back in. And and uh, I was asking him questions that he couldn't answer. And within 40 minutes, he completely changed the subject matter of his debate from Flat Earth to, you know, Jesus. And uh, everything's good. And we should all love and pray. And... Uh, <laughs> I hung up and I got like 20 text yeah, messages wrote, and I was like, dude, you literally broke that poor kid. And I was like, fuck that moron. He literally <laughs> all the stars in the sky are in the same exact spot every single night and have been for hundreds and hundreds of years. And we get in there and it goes, uh, so, so what devices have you used to measure this? And he goes, personally, I haven't. And, De and then Dean snapped. And then I just got invited back in, and I was like, okay, so you didn't even put, like, a toothpick in a window to measure that something is back in the same spot the next night? Nothing And at you're all. literally spewing shit on the Internet? And he's like, well, I mean, and I, I all I said that really got him upset was, dude, you can watch your neighbor's car drive past your house at seven o'clock every morning. It doesn't mean the tire tracks are in the same fucking spot. And he boom kicked me out. And, and then he, 
he goes back to I can't have all that cussing on the internet down in the comments like 30 people are like dude you need to get thicker skin if you're going to play in this <laughs> yeah you're on the internet it's going to happen uh, alright so I uh, I saw alright so if I do the guest thing and then I see a list of viewers is that people that are viewing right now yeah. Um, so if you want to see everybody viewing, you tap the number in the top right. If you go into the thing where like you let people in, um, it shows all the people that you can invite that have enough followers to join the live. Oh, but uh, are they viewing? Yeah, yeah, they're watching right okay, now. Okay, so Caleb is watching right now. Oh, he left. Yeah. He was watching. Caleb, so, Caleb. Oh, man. I, I, would jump oh, out here man. I was, right oh, was going to jump on that one. I had so much to say to him. <laughs> Dude, Caleb, Caleb I, not like me. You know what? He's still watching. They're watching through a a, a fake account or a or a yeah. an anonymous. Oh, come on, account. Caleb. Come on. All right. They're it's definitely watching. For right. you, we're gonna, he's probably worried about the echo chamber. Yeah. We're all right. We're gonna have. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit too many people here. So if anybody wants to volunteer as tribute, to step Dude, out a little I bit. Dude, I swear. Uh, if, okay, if yeah, I'll, I'll step out. I'll step out I'll, for like for a bit. I, I don't mind to jump out either because that kid hates my guts and uh, he will not come in here if I'm in here. I swear to God, oh, he's so fucking upset. No, wait, is this going to be a, is this a, is this a, a flat earther? I don't know. Uh, Caleb? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is Kate. Kate yeah, no, I want to be here for this. I would have. No, I want to be here for I this. I want to make that clear real quick. I, no, but I, I, I I'm going to jump out. I, so I came Caleb in because of that Caleb, the Caleb comment. Um, I read on, because I kept hearing about that Zen Garcia case. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and the only reason that it didn't, it wasn't that they won. It, it got thrown out because uh, uh, he used a, a computer model instead of physical model. Yeah. And that was the rules. Uh -huh. The rules was you had to right. use real world stuff and they didn't count digital as real world. Yeah. Right. But did you know that Caleb, when you go to the site, uh, when it says, uh, when you know, if you try to fact check it, he's the one that gets credited for starting that rumor. What really? Rumor? Yeah. The Zen Garcia. <laughs> That's been that's uh, been going uh, for years. For years, I know. So he's on the site. They uh, on on the clickable thing. It shows him as uh, the Caleb Fe whatever that he started it. So I thought so. I thought that was funny that it's going to that point. <laughs> that they just credited any. These any guys better. like these guys are grifting, man. I've been watching their lives. Like uh, I don't know how much you're making like here, MC Tune, because you're on. Uh, you know, on uh, YouTube, are, are you getting gifted like randomly, like on, people just sending you money on on like on right TikTok? Now. How do I know? No, like right now, like on YouTube. Oh, on YouTube, like, yeah, like, I, like super so, chats and stuff. Yeah, I have super chats. So when I, have, I watch, I have a few to read. In fact, okay, all right. So so, anyways, it's it just seems to me that like w these guys are making these like bold claims. And then at the same time, it, it seemed like watching, you know, like when you watch like a, like a church, like those religious guys that are like getting money from people and they're like doing prayers for people and they're talking about the letters they're getting and then they're <laughs> thanking them for their donations and they're, they're calling out and they're hyping up the big donations, you know, they're really hyping them up. That's what it kind of felt like because he kept talking like wits it the whole time. Um, uh, Caleb, like their lives the whole time, they're thanking people for giving them money. And it's just like, yeah, well, I, I just like, I, I, I want to be fair. I've like hesitated to like, to like, I'm going to record it and on one of it. Like, it's just so bad. Like, it seems like they're making a lot of money. And I, I know that people on the other side are doing it. And I know that it's like people want to monetize their, 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 their sort of, I guess their, their time. Yeah. But it really seems so insincere. Well, I, I want to be fair <laughs> def uh, to them. Uh, some of them it is the only thing they do. And so it, it's a bit, it's a bit of a challenge for them because they know uh, that they can't do what you I did. I don't know Mike. if my conscience would let me take money from people if the, I was lying to them. They, like, yeah, you know, like, they know if they change their mind, being, being caught, you know? <laughs> they don't get money anymore. So they're kind of trapped. So oh. their wits it is, it, there's wits it for sure. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was uh, like, well, maybe like yeah. maybe being boring and being on the side of NASA or being on the side of the government, like even though they call you guys shills, maybe that's not lucrative at all. Like, I mean, do you guys actually make money from this? Like, are you uh, making yeah. money doing I, this? Or? I make I make money. I, I barely you do. do. You make a little bit. <laughs> hey, yeah, make barely. Two, uh, uh, before I forget. So I could barely get through a movie, right? 
That's without falling asleep. But yeah. I completely watched the whole Witsit Narcissist uh, video you have. That thing was like the Titanic. You know, it was like, <laughs> it was like six hours long, man. <laughs> but I love psychology. So it was like, that was dead on. I've never met one that was spot on Narcissist. You know, that was like incredible how, how far that was. That, that was a hard video to make. I gotta say, really difficult to put that together, but I, I felt I, it needed I, I to be done. I can see why. There was a lot of dabs on there, but they were all based on reality. You you put the emails, you put the videos of him talking right after, and all the evidence was there, and it kind of sucks on his side, but I think it was necessary um, to get called out. I, don't... I mean, Toon is like the CoffeeZilla of the, the Flat Earth YouTube side. If you guys know who <laughs> CoffeeZilla is, he, he exposed like Logan Paul and a bunch of other people yeah. for their scams. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> So, so while you're talking, Mike, Dave Kircher sent 99 cents. Mark Beiser <laughs> sent $3.33 and said, a little tip paid with my NASA card. And then Wolf Dances so funny. says, NASA bonus. <laughs> so, so I don't know, man. I guess the charge is credible on both sides. Nobody can really afford to change their position, right? So, I, And I will say... Yeah, um, but, but once, once I guess once you, once you get... Once, maybe I'm just jelly of the popularity. <laughs> <laughs> so Craig, Craig uh, FTFE, th this is his main income. His wife does stuff too, but this is his main source of income. So for him, he's in the same position as, as you know, the full-time flat earthers like Witsit, uh, Jaron, Nathan Oakley. Um, there's yeah. a there's a handful of others that this, it's the only thing they do. Uh, Dupay, I mean, the amount of time they got to put Sargent. into in those videos. Like, dude, I, I spent 30 minutes making a TikTok video. I'm losing my mind. I'm like, ah, I just published the thing already. <laughs> I, I, I give him credit a little bit. I mean, you know, having, being able to build a platform, right? I mean, you know, uh, I think, uh, Toon, you said this before. There's three types of, you know, flat earthers. You got the grifters, the victims, and the trolls. Yeah. And it's like that, you, you know, what are the victims if there is no grifter, right? They don't exist. Yeah. Yeah. What, what I like the most is the their ability to remove something that would prove the globe like uh you know a lot of times they'll say oh but that's buoyancy you know but if you do the math to figure out how much buoyancy something has you have to use gravity you know that's that's the end before you get yeah, the, where, where the, did that the, come from the results yeah you know and they just they just keep going with things that prove the globe and then just they'll just remove one part like you, there's no way you could do this math without uh Glow. Adding gravity. And then just, you know, just remove one part. Oh, someone's echoing. Oh, you, I, uh, there's no way you could do this math without uh, <laughs> adding gravity. Well, I sent an invite to Caleb. He, was, he started watching again. Uh, so we'll he's see. gonna decline it. If if he comes in, <laughs> if he comes in, we're gonna we're gonna oh, have to yeah. keep it keep it uh, calm he's here. Gonna decline it. Hey you guys, if, if that's he me. In, I gotta log out and come again, back in. We're Hey guys, that's me. I gotta log out. <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, TikTok does that sometimes, unfortunately. Real? Oh yeah, if you're listening on on not on headphones. Right? Yeah, or um, it, it's uh, if you get like a call or something. I don't know why, but once you like swipe the notification away, if you don't answer it, you go back into the app. It just starts echoing. It's weird. You know what else I checked on? Um. You know, we, they got um, Globeman uh, throws it out there a lot, but they got the patent for the for the Alexander Gleason map. Yeah, dude. But I actually read I read I read a whole nother page that explains it a little better, and I was like, holy crap! How did they get flat Earth from this? Like, uh, who was asking about the sun earlier? Somebody was asking on here. Yeah, uh, I don't forget. I, I, I think I was talking. It, we were both talking about the yeah, twenty-four hour um, Antarctica yeah, sun. But, but yeah. Mc, McToon brought brought. Uh, he brought up the 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 map he had on paper. Right. If you look at the top, it it, it shows you an E right by the sun. Yeah. And that's for equator, and then on the left side it shows you an S for south, and on the right side it shows you a, a N for north, and then it tells you that it's hitting them at ninety degrees. And then if you actually look at the degrees on that map, it'll be 30 degrees, the equator, then 30 degrees again. <laughs> you know, it's like... <laughs> That's so it's true. Showing, yeah. All did right. you see the video of the guy? Did goal. you post? Well, Damn, on. I have an echo again. Oh, That's yeah. on Kayvon's side, All right, I think. Caleb, Caleb is in the chat. I invited him. He said he's not coming in with this many globe zealots. So 
I don't know what the number I is. What's I'll, the, I'm not. I'll leave. <laughs> yeah. I, but I, I want to say right first, now. Globe Man. I saw when I logged out, you said, "Hey, it was probably because he got a phone call and and he had to swipe up." Dude, like exactly what happened. Like, yeah, it's weird how it does that. I don't dude, know why. Like, come on, man. Like, I. No, I'm just kidding. No. So, so should I log out so we can talk to Caleb? Yeah, I don't know. Get, Is he gonna well, want to talk to me? Caleb, he's, he's gonna come in now because there's just right, two Caleb, of us. I'm logging out. I'll log out. All right, let's. Let see. me get out of here. How do I get out of here? There it is. He's coming. Yeah, in. I stand. I'll be nice. Be nice. All right. Okay, Caleb. Caleb and Globy McGlobeface. Uh, they butt heads, but I, I. I don't know. You. You maybe won't. I don't, I don't have a problem with Caleb. I mean. I don't agree with what he says. I think he's a bit of a silly goose, but I, I think, leave it I at think that, I guess. Fair. <laughs> Caleb, you're a silly goose. Uh, while he's doing that, um, <laughs> Donald Silver, sir, uh, Silverfur said, Flirkin can never make up their minds about the makeup of the ma mystical, magical sky dome. What's it made out of? How high is it? Um, industrial nerd. Oh, this is good. So we were doing the top left, and uh, Industrial Nerd is back in CC from Westchester County. Industrial Nerd says CC's wife won't allow him on TikTok, unconfirmed source, but I still love her. <laughs> did uh, did Caleb? I I accept. Am I all right? He's coming in. Ah, uh, whoa! You're on five now. Oh my. Five what? Yeah, I got four accounts now, brother. I don't like being censored. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, up, Dune, what up, Mike? Five. What up? Yep, I got KCD Industry 3, 4, 5, and Caleb.fe. You know how it goes. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. The Earth's a level topographical plane. The stars are local. The sun and moon are local. Well, there's a lot of claims. Bring forth the evidence. Uh, can you prove that they're millions and billions of miles away? I'm not making a positive claim of the distance. Oh, you said they're local, so there you go. We'll go I didn't with... say that they're a specific amount of miles, though. There you go. There you go. You said they're local. Well, I'm not making a positive claim. I just said that they're local. You make the positive claim that they're light years away, right? Sorry, saying they're local is a positive claim. We all know that. So. Is yours not a positive claim when you say the exact distances Dude, are you, light years you, away? You you jumped in here. You made that claim. So let's hear it. Can you prove did, that they're light years away? How, how did you when determine they, they are local? Because when we zoom in on them, they get bigger with size. Everything that, does that. That happens when you zoom yeah. in on anything. Yeah. Not if it were billions and trillions of miles away, in my opinion. In your opinion. All right, so it's just an opinion. Added the okay. opinion part. Got it. Got it. <laughs> so where, where's What's your that? proof that they're billions of light years away? Prove me wrong. Sorry. You're the, you're, prove me wrong is the burden of proof uh, reversal fallacy. So there you go. We'll just hold this up here so for everybody. Can... Burn of proof. You said Am local. I making a positive claim? <laughs> yeah, you did. You <laughs> said it's local. getting really weird. It is. <laughs> yeah, is you made the really positive claim and you refused to support it. That's a standard, standard uh, flat earth well, thing, it, right? If, if your model is so obviously correct, shouldn't it be easy to suggest, uh, you know, proof that they're light years away? Yeah, sorry, wouldn't that's, that just, be easy? that's just a different right way now? of reversing the burden of proof. Okay, so you don't want to try to explain to the on it. So the you don't want to support you know your positive claim. Away? Caleb, your positive claim is that they're local. You came in here saying that. So. I didn't make a positive claim of the actual distance. Yeah, you said they're local. That's you a positive claim. You made a positive claim of the actual distance to the stars, correct or no? I did not. And you they did. You're the one that hundreds. came in here and made a very specific positive claim that they are local. So go ahead. Did you know that they admitted that they were off by over 100 light years to the distance of Polaris? Right, so in that's the model? just a diversion from your positive claim. Okay, so, bro. So where's your positive evidence very for that cool. positive claim of very specificity? Cool, you said it's a topographical plane. Do you have evidence for that? Maybe measurements of it? Yeah, we're seeing too far. Let's, let's see some measurements of it. Seeing too far isn't a measurement. You've seen the black swan, brother. You've seen the longest distance photograph ever taken. You've seen the evidence. No, were, were you not here? We were talking about that earlier. Yeah, I they, actually they, did it on the globe model. They can all you, match the globe. So, so why is that a can problem? Can you prove that that matches the globe without using any CGI or using a computer program? 
Why, 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 math why, paper, would, you, why sure would you, you arbitrarily could? put that kind of a restriction on it? Why can't I use a computer because, program to do the calculations? Why? Because a computer program is a computer program created by humans. Do you have a terrestrial optical experiment to prove that that matches the globe model or just CGI and computer programs? Uh, no CGI, just, just applying the actual globe model. Yeah. But, but that that doesn't actually support your claim of topographical plane so again i'm going to ask you to support your claim that it's a topographical plane that is the burden of proof you made the positive claim so saying that the burden when of proof seeing... lies not with the person making the claim but with someone else to disprove is a fallacy the burden of proof fallacy so do you have <laughs> positive evidence of the topographical plane that you have uh, affirmed positively claimed the earth to be yeah the black oh. swan is from a one foot observer height seeing over 10 miles debunking the radius of the earth Sorry. that would have to be Sorry, over two hundred and fifty thousand miles that's not a measurement of flatness though is it it doesn't yeah it's that a measurement actually... against the radius of the earth it no, sorry, debunks that, the radius that, claimed sorry, by that, your model that has nothing to do with your claim that the earth is a topographical plane that is your positive claim provide the evidence of a uh, topographical plane they, they cool, they you can ask me to chase it, around your unicorn all day i'm not going to chase your unicorn it's not, i'm going to debunk not a unicorn your model for asking you to to support your claim I've already given you two examples, bro. No, you didn't. And all both you have is CGI and computer programming. All both of them match the globe. So you no, they actually, don't. Yes, they totally do. There's six miles of missing curvature in between the two points on the world lo longest well, distance photograph. So you, how does that match your model? So you've said, but not not actually applied the globe model. When did you apply the globe model to that? Oh. Like where did that number when you come from? Apply the approximation of the curvature of the Earth of one degrees for every 69 miles. There's six miles of missing terra firma in between the two observation points. It, but it's over. And water. even if we add three, th hold on, hold it's on, let me water. let me finish talking, bro. This can be normal. If you even add three thousand feet to the highest peak of the mountains and give it fifteen thousand feet, say it's three miles high. There's six miles of missing physical curvature oh, that should be between those two points. The the pick. Uh, the the picture the long the distance longest picture distance ah, okay okay so did you actually apply the model yeah. though when did you apply the model is the curvature of the earth supposedly one degree for every 69 miles mike physical yes but you're you're using an optical uh, uh observation so you're gonna have to apply the optical version of it so how did you apply that model what is the optical version of the curvature of the earth well it, there's there's refraction right is there no refraction or is there refraction the, I don't believe what type of refraction is happening to cast an image up into the viewer's height. That would be the a viewer's observation. Yeah, that would be a, a, a index of refraction gradient where the index of refraction is higher towards the bottom, towards the ground, and reducing with increasing you know what elevation. Snow's law is. Yeah, I just talked about that. Absolutely. Index of refraction gradient. Yeah. yeah so, so the light, if it's traveling horizontal to a viewer and it's at the bottom of the atmosphere and the atmosphere is densest at closest to the surface of the earth yeah it would bend down correct not yeah up. causing causing you. distant objects to appear higher this is well known it's been studied since down. gauss gauss i said <laughs> I, I told you about it i sent you a message on on instagram uh. saying that gauss measured it hundreds of years ago so this isn't a new Out thing since since you're like the papa glober you know you're misleading all well, the you're, globers and you're way to too say kind. that downward you're way too refract kind. hold on bro hold on bro to say that downward refraction causes upward refraction let's let's no, hear that no i didn't say that i said downward refraction causes distant objects to appear higher yeah that's insanity please right. elaborate don't don't care that you don't like it that's an appeal to incredulity all right i got that no, card i got I'm that not card here say, you can say no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's insane. Incredibly. Please explain it to me. Ah, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm let's gladly hear. do that. I can what, draw what, it well, out. Well, first, what, can, can Globe Man or one of you draw the image that you're trying to project? Can you draw it for me so that we can talk about it? Sure. It's going to be the exact same as the video response I gave to you. I'd love that. Yeah, draw that again. Let, let's talk about that. Sure. All right. Here, I got it right here. I got oh, actually, you got one? No, I got a blank sheet. You do, you do yours. I'll do this one. Okay. How, uh, how downward refraction causes so, distant objects to appear higher. 
Yeah. yeah, so this mm -hmm. is just an arbitrary thing I did on MS Paint, right? Sun, right? We have the light traveling from the sun. It bends downwards towards the observer, obviously not to scale. And then if we take a tangent off of that line of the bent light, it'll appear higher than its actual position. Let's, let's talk about like a building on the Earth rather than a, a luminary. Can we do that? Uh, yeah, it'll take me a second to draw it. I'm, like I said, it's MS Paint, unfortunately. And make sure you draw it on a curved surface that's supposed to be below the horizon, not a flat plane. That might look bad for you guys. Sure. All right, I've got, I've got a building. Here you go. There's a building with a guy there. You see that? <laughs> Why are you drawing it on a flat plane, no, Mike? It's, it's, it's curved, but very slightly. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> all right, so there is the building with the guy. You see that? Now I'm going to... I'm deceased, bro. Dude, Mike, can right. you try one more time and draw it on a, a spherical surface? It is. Try one it, more time. It is, but Mike. it's zoomed in really far. So, yeah, you can't see it Dude, very much. Dude, Mike, all right. are, you, you're being, are you being genuine, bro? You're making the Globers look weird right now, bro. Please draw it on a curved I mean, surface. What he's drawing is closer. Hold on, hold on. Scale. Let me get this out real all quick. Right. Let me get this out. Draw it on a curved surface where the terra firma or the level or, or the surface is actually obstructing the entire building rather than drawing it all on right. a level plane. No, you, you asked for something specific. I'm giving you something specific. You can, you can ask for something else later. But I'm giving you the first thing you asked for, so don't move okay, the goalposts. Okay, go through this, and okay. then and you asked well, how well, you does, promised to draw it. How here? Let's let's make it clear. You asked a very specific thing, and I'm going to answer only that one specific thing. I how asked for does, a round surface, though, bro. No, you didn't. Not not Mike, not at first. I'm you trying to be. I'm trying to be normal you with you, but move, like, what is Caleb? This? <laughs> you move the goalpost later. You asked. No, how? I'm I'm asking you Stop to represent your model, Caleb, my model. Stop interrupting. You asked. How does hey, downward refraction cause something to appear higher? I'm giving you that specific thing. Don't add other things later. That's moving the goalposts. No. This is what? right here exactly what you asked for. So I gave you the first line there is no refraction. The second line this. that's curving down Move shows... Move a little bit more to the right. Shows downward refraction. I can't see refraction. it very well. i got to screenshot this. There we go. Nice. So that's Thank showing you. downward refraction. You see the... The guy there would not see it with downward refraction, at least the, the first ray of light. Now, we put a second ray wow. of light in there. Oh, there we go. That looks can, nice. Can I request that you draw it on a curved surface after this? I did draw it on a curved surface. That's a... Are you serious, bro? Yeah. That, that line was curved in your mind? All right. <laughs> Here, well, yeah, but it's a it's a very large radius. Okay, so here is, here. Do you see that second curved line over the top there? You see the 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 light coming from the edge of the building there. Starts going, and it's at a higher angle than that bottom that line below it, and it curves wow. down to to meet the observer's eyes. You see that? But it enters the observer's eyes at a different angle than if there was no refraction. And so this, this dashed line pointing up there shows the apparent position of that building. So that's how a downward refraction causes distant objects to appear slightly higher. And since you want it so bad on a curved surface... Is that surface exact curved same thing. or is it yeah. flat? Yeah, this surface yeah, this is, surface, is, this curved, surface yeah. is curved. No, guys, can I, can I talk for one second, please? Like, can it's I curved. please have the respect of talking for one second? So your entire claim is that over a curved surface where the physical terra firma is obstructing the view of a building will actually cast the building up and then the light will travel over distance and be cast down? You are drawing a level plane. You are not drawing an image of a physical building being obstructed by the physical curvature of the Earth. Yeah, but that's you are you drawing my model, not your model. That, I, I gave you what you I asked, asked for. I asked after nicely. I said, can okay. you draw it? So you want me to Mike, draw, make you another Calm drawing. down, bro. I can tell your can blood pressure is another... really high right now. You've got to calm down. I this can, can be a normal conversation. Drawing, Caleb. Do you want me to make me another drawing? Please yeah. make me another drawing where there the physical go. terra firma is supposed to be obstructing the viewer's observation of the building, and then it's magically yeah, due to some crazy looming effect being loomed into the sky and then ramping down over distance due to Snell's Law. Please draw yeah. that for me. Yeah, got yeah. it. Sure, I did. No, there. that's is the okay. Curve is surface. the hump of curvatures taller than the building or not, Globe Man? Partially. 
Bruh. It's partially obstructed, and then the light gets raised up, and it makes it appear higher. Or, sorry, the light bends down, and it makes the object appear higher. I don't know why, you, why you're so uh, harping on the scale. Why does that matter? Well, hold on. Well, I explained it. I, I must be talking Spanish or something. I want the physical curvature of the Earth to obstruct the entire building in the drawing. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Can you draw that for me? How, how's that? What do you yeah, think? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, there you go. There you go. Thank you. So now draw the line. Downward refraction, right? Of course, this, you yeah. understand this is not to scale, right? I want to make sure. I don't want you to come back later and talk uh, about scale. This is not to scale. <laughs> sure. Right? Because, because sure, for reference. Sure, Mike. But is the physical, Caleb, does the physical for, curvature. Forget, hold this, on. This is what it you looks like to scale. Question. This is what a curve looks like to scale. Okay. Well, this is so, not to scale. Uh, so, okay. wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Did you really just say that? So, yeah, to scale yes. is the flat plane, no, and it's no. actually not being obstructed by the curvature of the Earth, and it's no. being obstructed by no. downward there's, refraction, is there, what you're saying? Because that's little, what we there's say. A little, there's Are a little you curve arguing here. for flat Earth right now? There's a little curve here. You, you, you can't see it there's, because you're, you're not measuring it. But if you want, you can, I mean, I can draw the rest of it. I need a lot more paper. I don't have enough paper here. So, all right, I'm going to do this one. Not to scale. Don't get, don't get off on, don't get off hold on, on scale Hold on, here, hold on, hold on. You guys got to give me one second. Hold on, you got to give me one second. All right. Well, my girlfriend needs to talk to me. Give me one second. Give me one second. All right. It's a little bit confused. Right, He's got cool. the spirit, though. You gotta get guys, you guys got to give me a second. I got to talk to my girlfriend real quick. All right, yeah, hurry up. Say hi to us. Hey, say hi to her for us. All right. Oh, this is a good one. This is gonna be nice. Okay, I gotta, I gotta leave and join back in. Oh, I gotta leave and join back in. All right. Okay. I gotta leave and join back in real quick. I'm getting like double feed. Okay, I gotta, I gotta leave and join back in. Oh, I gotta leave. And... Yeah, TikTok does that all the time. Weird. Yeah. It's a, it's very strange. All Another right, way to do it, I think, is uh, if you're on an iPhone, you can just do like the little pull down menu from the top. You know, like where you can check your battery. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you're on iPhone. I, I don't know if you're a cool kid or not. I am. I, in fact, you know what? I, I ordered this week, I ordered a new Mac. Uh, Ooh, fancy. <laughs> it'll arrive next week. There he is. All right. I've got, the, I've got the drawing. Sorry about that, fellas. That's all good, Caleb. I've got the drawing. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm stoked. Let's see it. Super excited. There it is. Wow, Look at that. that is really something you got there. So what type of refraction is causing that line Down, to do that? Downward refraction. Shoot. So why is it going in? A, why is the light traveling? Why are the photons or the wave or whatever you believe light is? Why is it traveling in this like curved parabolic, you know, path? Because of the downward refraction. That's that's it. You it's have the, any other the, words to articulate why the, that's happening, or are you it's just the say index of refraction, refraction gradient? Bro. So that's <laughs> okay, an so application. Elaborate of smells more. Law. Let's act like I'm. Let's act like I'm four years old. Keep going. I, I have been. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're just saying honest, downward Caleb, refraction. Yeah, yeah, no, you're actually not. If you'd like me to explain it to you like you're a high school, I can do that. Elaborating. If you want, like, like I can explain bro. it to you like you're a high schooler that completed physics class. Right? Uh, but I would actually, like you to apply explain Snell's how law. the photon... Yeah, to, to apply Snell's law requires um, calculus, which 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 is a bit more difficult in differential equations, so I'm not going to get into that. Do it without a language, bro. Math is a language. Do sure, it in sure. Yeah, yeah. Terms. You, have, you have to do it, though, to, to make, uh, you know, predictions. That's a, you know, pretty basic thing in science that we do. So how does it work? Okay, so Snell's law says that, that light will bend towards the denser medium. Towards the ground, yeah. the, the, the medium is denser, and as you go higher, mm -hmm. the medium is less dense. That's a bit of a simplification. It's more about the index of refraction instead of the density, but but uh, density isn't a, a good enough approximation. Since it's uh, lower, uh, the, the the not low, low, closer to the ground, the index of refraction is higher. It will bend towards the ground. So the light, I'll draw the the uh, 
the ray, the direction that the ray would, where, oh, I put my, my ruler away. The direction that the ray would go without refraction, I'll draw that. Of course, also not to scale. This is dramatically over overdone, but you can see that that second ray that I added. That's the that's the direction that the light would have gone if there was zero refraction. But since there is refraction wow. in this instance, it's going to bend. Bend. Can I down. make a comment? Yeah, go ahead. You think that refraction is just keeping? So is, is refraction acting like gravity and keeping the photons going around the curvature of the no. Earth, or what, bro? No, what is going on here today? It's bending the light. <laughs> he, he already told you originally. This isn't drawn to scale. That's what he started yeah, with. Yeah. And, well, well, and you that didn't, picture, well, hold on. Just with, let me show this. And you didn't like. It, hold on. Just hold one, on. one more with, thing. With what you, you guys didn't are like claiming. that he did draw it to scale because we can see. If we look at a circle up close, it looks flat. As I zoom out, what do you know? There's curvature. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like every observation we actually make, the Earth seems to be completely flat. But um, with what he did show, it actually is what you guys should be claiming. Like you guys are claiming that the physical terra firma is obstructing the actual view of the building. That's what you guys say, right? Yes. Yeah, and I drew that and you didn't like it. So when you draw a level plane where the visual to the actual building should be completely apparent, that's not a good representation of how we're supposed to be on your magical spinning water ball. Mine was curved. Mine was curved. Much more so than uh, Toons. Yeah. yeah. Mine was curved that to scale. That level plane that you showed earlier Mine was, was curved. curved to scale. This one's not to scale. Oh my gosh. So the Earth's flat. <laughs> no. It's, it's to scale. But like I said, what are we, what are scale, we doing here? I, I need a piece let's, of paper. Let's try a different topic. This is going oh, nowhere, Caleb, obviously. To, to be clear, to have to have this drawn, you, I would need a piece of paper that's 8,000 miles long that direction, 4,000 that direction, 4,000 that direction. No, In this... order to, to, to complete the circle, that's right going across here to scale. No, what you guys claim, I don't know if you guys know this, but the heliosexuals claim that the physical curvature of the earth obstructs our view to yes, buildings over does. distance, right? Yeah, it absolutely So does. why are you drawing a level plane where the bottom of the building should be in view if we're trying to get to but scale what is happening Caleb, in reality? And you reality? asked me for something specific and I gave you something specific and now you're applying uh, ambiguity here in order to confuse people but i'm not confused by flashcards. where'd I, you get those flashcards uh your logical fallacy uh dot net or I something love like it. that um your logical fallacy dot net i, I think that that's down. it i, I don't know those. i'm those not awesome. certain offhand anyway so i love that so so I, I don't know what the problem is this you asked me for something specific you asked so, me specific no, i'm gonna review no i'm gonna review you specifically wanted me to show you how <laughs> refraction can cause something to appear higher that's what this is. This is showing you how refraction can cause oh, something shit. to appear higher. That's what you asked for. That's what I gave you, right? Then you wanted Why are, it, you when, wanted when to I see Google, it more, I... more on a curved surface. So I did that, but I can't do it to scale because I don't have a big enough piece of paper. But why is the why is the why is the light in your not to scale photo? Because that's actually what you guys are claiming, right? Is that it's physically being obstructed? Why is the light traveling in a perfect parabolic maneuver to the viewer's eye rather than hitting the ground? Why why is that happening? It hit the ground right there. See that? No, in the other one, brother. In the oh. other one, not the not that one. The other one. Because yeah. you, because again, I was giving you a very specific answer to a very specific question. How does it work to cause something that's beyond the curve to be seen? This is the specific answer to that specific question. You re so you're you'll you'll actually quote Snell's law to me and then draw a picture like that where the photons or waves, whatever you think light is, is just traveling in a straight curved line instead of tra traveling down it's in not, the medium. Sorry, it's not a straight. Like what? It's not a straight curved line. It's a curved line. Not a straight curve Yeah, yeah, line. this magical parabolic curved line that doesn't exist in There's reality. There's nothing magical about it. This is empirically confirmed. No, it's not. Snell's <laughs> law would directly contradict what no, you're drawing No, this is an right application there. of Snell's law. Absolutely, 100%. Wow. This is an application of Snell's law. It's a differential equation form of it. 
and I can I can certainly send this you citations crazy. to the application of Snell's law for for how this works. And, and also, I, I just wanted that. to add, um, Globy Make Globe Face, if I remember right, he tagged you in a video the other day. He showed this to you in a fish tank by making the medium more dense towards the surface. He had, if I remember right, it was a cutting board yeah, on that's a curved flat on the bottom. Surface, no, 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 no. Hold on. Just let me finish. He had a cutting board on the bottom that was curved, and he had that obstructing a picture of the skyline he had in the background. And then once he added that more dense meat, or sorry, once he mixed in uh, the sugar to make the more dense medium on the bottom, we noticed that the object was lifted. Downwards refraction towards the more dense medium caused the object to appear higher. That I, I mean, I can show the video if you want, but I the like surface. I said, yeah, I've seen it. the video. No one needs to see the horrible video. It was on a level surface with a little hill, bro. You think that 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 you hold on, you actually think yeah. that that was portraying your guys's model physically obstructed? Yeah, just as you asked curve, for, and it's real life. Yeah. I don't know if that's and I can show you videos of the exact opposite happening. Yeah, by using the other half. Where we're seeing more lines. by Glober's experience. Yeah, using, where we using actually, the wrong where we actually part, yeah. see less, I mean. Use the wrong part of a Fresnel lens. I have uh, I have Rob's Giba's. Oh, the atmosphere is not a Fresnel lens, bro. Of course not. But why did, so then why did Rob Giba use that? I don't know. I'm not Rob Skiba. Why, why, why are you asking you cited Rob Skiba and, and why, why you cited it. Yeah, you Rob Skiba's dead. Why are we talking about Rob Skiba? Because people still cite his his uh, his little his little. I don't. Have I ever cited Rob Skiba's work? I don't know. Yes, just about two weeks ago. Remember on Jaronism's yeah. channel? Yeah, that wasn't me, Globe Man. That was Derek. You sure if hopped you don't on the know train, the though. difference between us? That's hard to tell sometimes. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's yeah that that's really bad. Um. Anyway. Do you guys have any other proof we're on a spinning water ball that you want to talk let, about? Let's go back to your claim. For proof you of claimed, you claimed, I'm going to go back to this. You claimed Earth is a topographical plane, and uh, then you, you you made claims about the globe instead of actually measurements of, of the topographical plane. So could we go back to your measurements of a topographical plane? Uh, seeing too far. And, and we already covered that. The measurements needed. Yeah, yeah. You, you, all that is is a straw man of the globe when you when you don't actually apply the it's not a straw man the, the it's, a, it's an no. actual observation when we you can make don't from the apply the, the globe bottom correctly it's a straw man of the globe <laughs> i'm not straw manning the globe with an actual observation we can make from you, the Sal. shoreline of the ocean brother what are you saying do you know what straw man is yes when when you misapply our claim when you intentionally yeah, so, leave out refraction, which is part of the globe model, you intentionally leave out refraction or don't include it at all or include it incorrectly, then say for some reason you think that that falsifies the globe when you didn't actually test the globe. So if you include refraction, then 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 that's an actual application of the globe. And I'd be glad to show you how to do that. Or I can just show you the process for that. But uh, for uh, Pick, uh, what's the, the name of the mountain there, Globe Man? Um, in uh, Peak Gaspard. Peak Gaspard. When you do Peak Gaspard and you apply refraction, you actually apply the globe model, we find that it is what's predicted, is what we see. So you didn't actually see too no. far. You Only saw the right amount when you apply the globe model. Now, do you have any measurements of topographical plane? Yeah, when we see too far, that's but, what but I'm saying. But you've not given me any examples of seeing too far. You've made claims about yeah, it, I but have. they're incorrect. So what is what is happening in the black swan photo, McToon? Please explain. A, a huge amount of refraction that was not quantified. What type? Be specific. What type of refraction? Upward, Do you know any downward names of reflection, the hard refraction, all sorts what? of different types of, of uh, effects are happening there. Can you prove that? Uh, I approve uh, what? That refraction is happening? Absolutely 100%. Super easy. You look at the left side of the photo. Well, hold on. The, you asked me to prove it. I'm answering it. Don't interrupt me. If you look at the left wow, side of the you're photo. Angry today. If you look at the left side of the photo, you can see. Angry, man. You asked me to prove it. Now you won't let me talk? What's wrong with you, Caleb? Go. Are go, you scared of the answer? You must be scared of the answer. Is that it? Obviously, I'm not scared of anything that you can say. The truth defends itself. Are you scared to get your crap 
Disassemble. Why Disassemble. are you getting mad, Mike? Because Why are you, you mad, bro? You're blood because boiling. You Why are you keep pissed, bro? interrupting me like a little child. Calm down, Mike. Caleb, stop interrupting Chill, me. Dude. Caleb, stop interrupting me. <laughs> impulse control, Caleb. Come on, remember Caleb. impulse control. <laughs> Go, bro. We need we need Explain Globe in here with his dude. keys. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I need to get some key. Hold on. I need to get some something to. All right. I nothing. I got nothing. All right. I can prove that there's dramatic refraction happening when you look at the left side of the photo. The crane going off the left side of the 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 oil uh, platform. There it is. Is dramatically uh, warped. That that's not its actual shape. That proves that there is dramatic refraction happening. Nobody has yet shown how the uh, how to apply refraction for the globe for that uh, from the flat Earth side. Nobody's ever done that. So how do you come to the conclusion by seeing ripples in a physical image that your magical type of refraction that is casting the actual oil rig into the viewer's perspective is happening? It's not magical. It's 100% empirically confirmed. You haven't you you haven't proved that it's happening. What type yeah, of refraction just, is it, just rather than just saying words? Upwards and downwards refraction. Wow, both. Yes, definitely both. Wow, incredible specificity you got there, Mike. I, I'm not the one that that has the crappy observation where there's no controls applied. That's you. You realize that the radius of the Earth would have to be 250,000 miles for that observation? Only if there's zero refraction. So you now need to prove that there's <laughs> zero refraction. Again, well, I don't you have the burden of proof. You have well, the burden of proof. I can't proof. prove a negative claim. I don't prove, I don't believe that there is a type of refraction that can cast an image over 250,000 miles into a viewer's perspective. So, so you are specifically claiming that there is no refraction happening. That is a positive claim. Which is a negative. No, I'm no, not making, I'm not claim. saying no refraction is happening. Oh, refraction I'm is saying happening? your claim of your positive, Do hold on, hold on. I'm, uh, hold on, let me, let me talk. I'm saying your positive claim of what insane refraction that you are trying to commit and say to everybody is not happening. I can't prove a negative, so you need to articulate more specifically what is happening during the black swan photo I, I, rather yeah. than just saying upward and downward refraction. Certainly. Uh, the problem is that the uh, Beelzebub who did that video did not record the vertical temperature gradient. Since he did not record the vertical temperature gradient, there is no controls on that. So you get garbage observations with no controls. You cannot get clear predictions of anything because we don't know other than there is a huge amount of refraction, how much in, in, in real specific terms is happening. So what you want to do is actually seek either a, a place where there is dramatically less refraction, ideally very consistent and small amounts, or where you actually control for refraction by measuring vertical temperature gradients. Neither of those happened, so that observation is something that you cannot draw any conclusions from. So you're admitting that you can't actually prove that your type of refraction is happening due to a lack uh, of recording of the temperatures well, and I've, such? I've 100% proven that there is dramatic refraction happening. But the actual measurements and the predictions oh, yeah, and application of the globe model cannot be done because there was not enough controls. Yeah, so whatever, just for the chat, so whatever, what he's admitting is that he can't prove it. So either way. I just proved it. Uh, you guys want to go on to something else, like how the atmosphere is contained the and globe sitting next to the vacuum of space? Like, what do you guys want to talk about? Again, I want to go back to your positive claim of the topographical plane of the Earth that you've not yet supported. There's hills and valleys we're seeing too far, Mike. What do you want me to say, You keep brother? saying see too you, far. You don't want to talk about your globe? Every time. No, it's your claim. Caleb, you're the one making the positive claim of... Did I make Did I make a specific claim of the exact dimensions like you're claiming no, with you the circumference and radius claim. or no? That's a specific claim. That is a claim of specificity when you say it is a topographical claim. What is topography? Claim. What does the word topography mean? means there's there's ups and downs hills and valleys but you said plain yeah you said it's a plane so that's a very specific claim you have evidence of that specific claim of the in 
the Earth being a plane. Do you know how point perspective works, Mike? I go right ahead. The ground ramps up and the sky ramps down, creating a converging point or a vanishing point. So I don't know what measurement you're expecting me to pull out of my ass. Well, if you make <laughs> the claim, I would are... expect that you'd have it. If you make a claim I have yeah, and Justin, don't have evidence see, for it, the, the, then it is clearly a religious belief for you. The problem is here, whenever we actually observe the horizon or we zoom in on boats that are supposed to be over the curvature of the Earth, we can easily debunk the positive claims of the radius and the circumference. So, Well, never that's, has that happened. That's the problem. Uh, because when you actually yeah, apply the globe yeah, and not straw man the globe, you actually find that all the observations match. Every single How time. How do I straw man the globe? By not How did applying I the actual the globe. globe. You know, there, there is um, the a really easy way you could apply. just measure it without having to just do an IC at test. There's lots of easy ways you could just measure it. Have you considered any reciprocal this zenith is angles is probably the circular, best one. Guys. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm asking like, you if you've considered something. Bored. We want to keep everyone entertained, right? Like maybe we should try a different topic because this is becoming very mm -hmm. circular. It sounds like you don't want to address yeah. the topic. You kind of run away from it. No, it sounds it. like we've said the exact same thing five times over and over, Globe Man. I'm not scared to go over your stupid downward so, refraction so, causing upward hey, refraction Caleb, all it's day. Your it's claim. I love hearing you, you guys are say running it. from your claim. You made the positive claim that the Earth is a plane. Did I and, make and refuse to support it? Did I make a positive? It. Yes. And then okay, you refuse so to support it. I also it. said topography. So if there's hills and valleys, there is changes in the dips and rises of the plane that we are on. Yeah. So there would be different measurements at all parts of the Earth. Certainly, well, plane but means, right. what, yeah. plane means 180, right? Yeah, but like, so do you have any with means 180? Plane. Dude, you guys can't be this semantical, bro. You guys can't be being serious right now. Topography, even to, like, you realize, Globeman, Mike defined topography for you, for you, right? So when I say it's a level topographical plane there are hills and valleys yeah, we, it's not a that. 180 line yeah, no, 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 nobody yeah, actually but, thinks that when a flat earther says that the earth is a plane that they that we're they're denying topography right Be bev is the only one that thinks that's it's what an actual globe thing. man just suggested bro you no, realize no, no, not at all. I, I suggested that the entirety <laughs> of the plane in total would be 180 right so we could use something such as reciprocal zenith angles that's and we could idea. measure two zenith angles even with topography, that makes no difference. The sums will still equal 180 if it's a topographical level plane like you claimed. Have you done that? Do you assume the radius of the Earth when you're doing that, Matt? No. No. I'm not determining the radius of the Earth directly from that measurement. So you're looking at the sky to figure out the radius of the Earth? Nope, it has nope. nothing to do with the sky. No sky involved. You you just said we measure reciprocal zenith angles of the stars, yes no, or no? Is no that stars. Not, not stars. No stars involved. I did not mention stars. At what all. reciprocal zenith angle are you measuring? <laughs> Gladly, I'll show you. All right. I, I have little drawings of it. I'll, I'll start with this no one. No drawings, real life observations. No more plane. drawings, no more CGI, guys. Come on. This yeah, one's can, a plane. Oh, go ahead. See that? This is a plane? This this time I drew a plane. I okay. thought that was a curved surface. No, that's video. the other one. This one I used. I used the ruler here, right? So this one's the show plane. Show both at the same this time. Is, show, is, show that one and then show the other is, one and say that it's curved and one's flat, please. That'd this be hilarious. Is, all right. This is yours. Stay on topic here. This is yours. <laughs> here's how here's how reciprocal zenith angles work. But which way is zenith? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, it's ninety degrees above your head. All right. I'm gonna use what, what's this called? An angleometer, right? <laughs> yep, sure. I'm going to use the angleometer. I'm going to draw 90 degrees. Why are we drawing pictures? I asked for real life measurements. Oh, Why are we just still drawing absolutely. with crayons? I'm using a, a Sharpie, so it may be a little bit difficult for you instead of a crayon. All right. There no, is. I don't want a picture. Draw there's Come there's on, a Mike. zenith. See don't that? Draw a picture. Zenith. Well, we're trying. To, yeah, we're trying to help you. We're telling you how to do it so you can do it. Yeah, it's your claim. Well, not, I don't want it mine. done with a picture. You guys should show me with real observation Why how the Earth evolved with this type of measurement. Why would we have to show your evidence? You don't know how that works? Again, burn a proof. You made the You're claim of a plane. You're claiming that reciprocal that zenith means. angle. No, no, no. I didn't make a positive claim. I, you made the positive claim that when you measure reciprocal zenith angles, you magically get the radius of the I, Earth. No, we didn't. I never claimed that. Uh, I never claimed that we're just using it to measure a ball. I asked if you had done it. 
There you go. Here's That's two zenith angles. So you can't use reciprocal zenith angles to measure the radius of the Earth We're now, not talking huh? about it that. We're talking that about either. your claim. Your claim. You made the claim. You jumped in here and said the Earth is a topographical plane. I'm giving you... An, you asked for an example because you, you don't know how to measure your own claim. Here's one example. These two zenith angles, what you do is you, you stand at one point, you measure the angle to the other. You go to the other point, you measure the angle to the other. I'll add that in just a second. All right. I love how mad your chat is. It's so funny. <laughs> there's there's the dashed line. You see the dashed line there? Now, on, on, uh, on flat Earth, you could test if you're on flat Earth by seeing if those two angles there on either side are 90 degrees. Now, that's if they're both at the same elevation. How far are these two points apart? It doesn't actually matter. That's a, that's a cool thing. So they can be two feet apart and you'll measure the radius of the Earth? We're not talking about the radius of the Earth measurement. We're talking about flat Earth. Your Talk claim. about your model. I'm not making a positive claim you of made the dimensions the positive, of the, the Earth. The first you thing are. you did when you came in here was make the positive claim that the Earth is a topographical plane. Then you asked us how you could measure that for yourself. A very strange thing, which you basically admitted that you don't have any measurements of the Earth being a topographical plane. Therefore, you admitted that you have a blind faith belief that the Earth is a topographical plane because you've never measured it. There, you've never seen measurements. Strong, you can't man, even actually put together a thought for how you might measure it. That's that's very bad for you. But I'm telling you, we're seeing you, just, too far debunking just, the radius and circumference of the Earth again. But, we're becoming very circular. Maybe you, you, we should switch topics. You are topics. becoming very circular. But like I said, you've never actually shown and seeing too far. Nobody's ever shown that. You always just yeah, get it wrong. Black so, Swan and the but, World Guinness World you, you, Record of you Distance photograph. You get it wrong. All those are you. You apply it wrong again. I said you're that's just a saying they're wrong. Man. You're not proving they're not straw man. That's a straw man. You keep straw manning the globe. Words. That's all you have is a straw man the globe. So this is how you could measure the Earth to be flat, to test it for yourself, to actually have a non-blind faith belief in the shape of the Earth. If both of those are 90, then the Earth would be what? Flat. Yeah, there you go, between these two points. It would be good if you had a longer distance than two feet because the... the uh, the precision of those instruments is going to be a factor. So, and now here's the cool thing: topography isn't so a it, problem. Show it. Just a second. I'll, I'll so show now it. show us a real-world observation without doing math, which is a language Sorry. where you got more than that. No, no math claim. allowed. Dang not, it! Not my claim. <laughs> Your claim. So oh my now, gosh, if, if the bro. second one, if the second one is up what higher, I'm going to move the observer higher. Mm-hmm. All I'm right. falling asleep right now. This is so boring, bro. Good wits it is learning in there. Hard. I'm not learning jack. You guys are making positive claims without any actual real-world evidence, so it's just kind of weird that you're just drawing pictures and trying to use a language. All right. We're trying to ask you about your claim. So here, here's here's the yeah. other way. If, well, I if don't you've make got, a positive claim. You did. You guys make the first a thing you did is make a positive claim. Radius so here, here you've, got, you've got two angles. You've got alpha, beta right there. These two angles here. Even if you have topography between them, pictures? when you sum those together, if the Earth is flat, when you sum those together, you'll get 180 degrees. How do you know that the land that you're standing on at the elevation isn't slightly bent or something, like on a hill? Like, what do you I, mean? In bro? fact, By finding a plum. What are you I just drew a hill. About, dog? I drew a you're hill. straw manning my model. I straw manning my model. I specifically drew a hill here. <laughs> right there. This observer is higher Dude, than okay. that observer. Next topic, bro. This you is got a problem with this? I don't want to see any more drawings. Is this destroying you? Is this destroying you? Are you running from this because no, you know that this does not exist? I'm bored. I'm bored, Mike. I'm of bored. Course We've been you talking are. about the same thing for 45 now, if, if minutes because you don't want to switch the, topics. If anybody you don't watched actually the video your model. that I did that was brought up earlier, he has just exhibited one of the uh, characteristics, so we know. All right, so that that oh. answers your question, Caleb. Now I have a couple things here. It's eight twenty-four for me. I have I ha I should be done at eight thirty. I don't have time actually to finish. I have some super chats to read. So Caleb, um, we're gonna have to table this and come back at a different time. Wow! So you're running. I, oh, I know. Well, I just you're running from a topic. I, I just explained it all. 
I have I have that's to go fine. at 8 30. That's good. That's good, Mike. I get it. You got a family, brother. I get it. All right. You gotta Thank go, you, you gotta go. I got a family too. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. This has I, been great. I know Make you're sure not... you don't take down your live stream. Do not take down your live stream. I want to react to it on my YouTube. So you this need to one? leave it up so I can how... watch it again with Wits it. How do I leave this up? On YouTube. You on YouTube. Aren't you aren't you oh, streaming oh, this to YouTube? Yes, no? this is going on YouTube. Yes. The TikTok one. Okay. Yeah, leave it I mean, there. I can download we'll the TikTok a, one. We'll right? have a heyday with this. Yeah, you can download the TikTok one as but well. But it doesn't. In a live center. People can't see it unless I download it and upload it somewhere other way, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. It, it should still be on YouTube, though, if it saves your streams. There. Oh, yeah. The YouTube is, is live for sure. Nice. I'll check it out there. This has been a really good conversation, guys. You've been Aww. you've been awesome. Now Globy's here. We needed your keys. <laughs> no, right, you don't Caleb. need a 3v1. Two v one is good enough, wasn't it? Wasn't two v one good enough? No, you we didn't need him. We just needed his keys. You didn't even let another flat earther in here. All right. Oh, no, and we Caleb, just wanted his keys. We Caleb, didn't <laughs> you and me, Jaron, Jaron moderating. How about that? Uh, I'll think about it, Mike. What? You've been kind. You were kind. You kind of. Your blood pressure got a little bit high. You were a lot cooler Caleb, on our last interaction with your bro. own guy I, you, as wait, a wait, moderator. Hold on, Mike, you, you, hold on, Mike, 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 Mike. Hold on. You real. You remember when I told you when I messaged you? You have to be cordial for us to have conversations. I've been I'm cordial. obviously not scared of you. Hold on. I'm obviously not scared of you, or I wouldn't have joined in here uh, and debated yeah. you where I know it's being recorded. Like I'm not scared of you, obviously. So I'll, I, I said I'll think about it. It might be an entertaining conversation. Right now, I'm I'm really uh, I'm actually going back to work probably. So I'll be working a full time job. So I'll have to figure it out. I so. work a full time job. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out on one of my All days right. off. We'll, we'll we'll try to plan something. I, right, I can't man. commit to anything right now. I got the debate with Globy and Globe Man this next upcoming month. They scheduled it like freaking four weeks out. It's so weird, but yeah, we'll 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 probably figure something out, Mike. All right. You message right, me on Instagram. You know where to reach me, brother. I do. Go read the the thing from Gauss I talked right. about. All right, we'll see you later, Caleb. I'm gonna hey let... guys, the Earth's not a ball. Okay, I love oh, you. Shush, man. <laughs> All right, I gotta, all right. I gotta read a few I'm things here. I'm probably about to hop down as well. All right, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm about to go eat. Well, here I'll stay. You know, my favorite I, shill is here. I want the, I want to see the keys <laughs> shaking while me. I, while I read a few of these. Um, final silver for oh, set. God, I don't know. Today, I officially celebrate over 2,000 Fleur failures on my Facebook 72 Blue Marble Challenge. No one has proved it fake in any of six groups. How many times have you heard? Flat Earthers claim that the, the 72 blue marble is fake. Never once has any ever showed an analysis of it. Never. Uh, I saw one guy try, but he just proved it was real. <laughs> Grand Price is two Toons days in a week. Is today Toon, two Toons day? Well, be ready. I got a third one on Friday. Third oh. one on Friday coming. Hopefully the guy shows. He's he's uh, he's sounding a little a little sketchy. Uh, Timo Lynch says a triangle size one one and one can only be calculated in miles. <laughs> That's from uh, Nathan Thompson and Col uh, Conspiracy Cats. Uh, when he did it in kilometers, and, and Nathan's like, I can only do it in miles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PT Tony, I think in response to mic check. Come on, Tune. Pay attention, Tune. Pay attention. <laughs> I gotta get some of those. I love the noises they make, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, alright. PT Tony, in response to mic check. Uh, who said uh, that he's my PT Tony says there's neutral ground between reality and fantasy? Question mark. No, there isn't actually. But but being being fair with people and having a conversation, I think that's fine. Uh, Javier Potillo Fernandez. Ooh, like that name. This widespread space travel will destroy flat Earth. Hey, as soon as everybody oh, knows somebody, they, uh, just pretend it space. doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be like uh, the times of Galileo. Just uh, bury your head in the sand and refuse to look through the telescope. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> They'll have that for sure. Uh, Al, Al Gladyu said, Going towards south gives you longer daytime, much more of Antarctica. In Ushuia, 
Argentina. Did I pronounce that right? Down to the south end of Argentina? Sure. What's that? I think so. Sure. Sure. Uh, uh, no it's like 17.2 <laughs> hours of daytime. Doesn't make any sense on flat earth. Uh, Patrick Butler, who's a, who's a flat earther on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, says, You seem to be very busy lately, McToon. Just look at this Glomby shark tank you got. I'm proud. Tears. <laughs> <laughs> and then Patrick Butler, somebody was talking about eating the crayons. He says, Green crayons are not ripe enough to eat yet. <laughs> oh, what's that doggo there? This, I, I don't know what kind of dog she is. But uh, her name is Coco. Very cute. She's really happy to be down here because I'm heating up chicken. <laughs> ah. And, and we see that you have, on your left foot at least, five toes. Very good. That's the best at number least. of toes per foot. Debatable. And as high as flat earthers can count. Well, <laughs> flat earthers, if they can count to 10, 20 if they take off their shoes and socks, and the guys can count to 21. <laughs> If they drop their trousers, but their mommies don't like them to do that in public. Yeah, I had to teach them to stop doing that. <laughs> I could just see Mark Sargent's mom like, no, don't count to 21, Marky. <laughs> stop at 20. Uh, <laughs> I try to call Mark Sargent. Because he did a video the other day where he's lamenting that he can't get flat earthers to, or uh, the, the people to debate. He's like, yeah, we've only had a few debates. We want to get some debates. I'm like, Mark, I will I will volunteer as tribute, Marky Poo. Yeah, any day of the week. He's still using uh, like the five-year-old talking points as if oh they never gosh. have been debunked. Well, he can do that if he never leaves you know, the safety of flat earthers. <laughs> Right. Yeah, he's going to be a little confused. <laughs> oh, jeez. Patrick Butler says, you guys need four glombies against one flurf? Question mark. Uh, all right. What's the, 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 the fireworks that just went on? That's a gift that uh, someone just sent. Oh, how do I know? I think oh. that went to a uh, Globy. Oh, I oh, see. Oh, it went to me. S Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Carabino. Thank you, Sal. Did I roll the R enough? That to you one it, firework. Sal. Sal has a yeah. working flat earth model. He does. Yeah, it's good. I, I do too. I won't spoil the surprise. I'll let him show you himself sometime. Oh, I, I, I published one on my, on my uh, conspiracy well, tunes channel. I did nothing. And then, and then there's, there's GG and roses and this globe so things. In my that, house. I don't know what these, these are. Yeah, Wolf just sent some earths and some footballs and stuff. I don't know. What are those things? Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be worth a certain amount of coins. And when they send it to you um, afterwards, you can see how much it was worth. Oh, wow. Well, thank uh, if you. If you swipe to the left, then you can see the total amount that you've gotten. And it'll say, like, how many diamonds you've got. Like right now? Yeah. Oops. I just swipe to the side. Eric Burns called me a boomer. <laughs> it's like, don't. There it is. Diamonds, 1.6K. Nice. I don't know what that means, though. I don't know. I think that's like five bucks. Wow. Like that. yeah, it's like Thank six you. Six cents. Good job, TikTok. <laughs> six cents. All right. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, Three News One said, get real, we're sending Google money. This was when uh, Mike was talk asking about getting money. So on topic there, uh, a couple others that they sent. Dave Kircher had gifted 10 memberships. So now there's 10 new members. I saw that a Flat Earther was a, a member of my channel as a result of gifts. Well, that's fun. So, yeah, so you can gift a membership, and then YouTube kind of decides based on, on uh, interactions who gets it. So, uh, oh, it's kind of like Twitch with gifting subs. I, I, sp I don't know anything about Twitch because I'm a boomer apparently oh, now. Go. Thank you, Eric Burns. <laughs> and Eric Burns there Lucky he can even work his the boomer status by saying that he misses Vine. Who's the boomer now, Eric? 
Who's the boomer now? Vine. I bet I bet Eric still has a MySpace account and is is sad that his GeoCities account was was uh, took down. <laughs> yeah, Facebook's starting to become a you know one of those boomer platforms too. I got to get off there. <laughs> Uh, Glover Mom says, hi, Betty from NASA HR, you're at a boy bonus. <laughs> uh, Patrick Butler again, the, 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 uh, the, the faux fleur, says the sun is 93 McToon miles away. Not far. <laughs> I loved, I loved Ooh, that. cowboy that... hat. Oh, you missed it. What? You had the cowboy hat and you missed it. How do I get the cow? What happened? How did the cowboy hat happen? See, see. Yeah, That's when someone gives it to you. It puts it on your, on like your face while you're live, and like oh. it'll move around with you, and then it disappears. I wasn't even looking. Those there. are my favorite. There, there it is. is. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and the sunglasses. That's nice. That's one of my favorites. Or the little crown. I like the little crown on the side of the head. It's like really tiny. <laughs> the tiny crown. All right. Um. I love that Caleb came in firing, making positive claims, and then claiming that he didn't make claims. Yeah, and then he tried to backpedal. <laughs> All they do is make positive claims while claiming they're not positive claims. It's, yeah. It's so f like frustrating to watch. They want to try to claim that theirs is the default position. Like, how do you get that? And then they make a bunch of claims. Like, hold on a second. You can't have the default position yeah. be based on a whole bunch of claims. I, I've been trying to... Uh a new approach with them a little bit where i'll say okay let's just i'll play your game let's pretend the globe is debunked how are we any closer to flat earth it's like how do i know the earth isn't the shape of a pretzel or a pyramid or something how do i determine that and they never know where to go with that they just keep talking about oh well your globe says this and that and it's like no it doesn't but even if it did how are we closer to flat earth that's that's a great one it's, oh, it's uh, hold on i got the card i got the card i'll find it it's the, uh... uh Where'd you get these fallacy cards, by the way? I need those. They're great. <laughs> they go right next to my keys. Uh, 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 where is it? Uh, it's, it's the, um, the, t the only two, the, uh, you can call the black and white fallacy. There it is, black and white fallacy. It's, uh, where two alternative states are presented as the only possibilities when, in fact, more possibilities exist. Yeah, it's or or it's the um, the other the other kind of version of it. You know, if if you debunk the globe, they think that the default is is then uh, that flat Earth. But that's not the default. Is that the uh, the all or nothing fallacy? All or nothing. nothing. There it is. Yes. Uh, Erotha's life I says that. I used that today on someone. Yep. Sorry, All right, Earth Who's Life says, Caleb, was refraction taken into account in the Black Swan? Witsit says refraction must always be taken into account. In fact, I have Witsit saying that. He doesn't like when I play these things. Um, let's see. I need to, I need to find the, the tab that has that in it. That's not it. <laughs> You're like, I still got it here somewhere. <laughs> I have, yeah. There it is. I don't know if it's going to go out to TikTok, though. Um, I don't think so. You'd have to actually flip your camera and show it for that to work. Well, no, because this is actually coming through my computer. The, the sound is. Like you're not using your phone to go live right the, now? No, I am using my phone for video, but this is my microphone, which is connected to my computer. Then I'm casting it hmm. using um, using Air, Air, uh, AirPlay. So, Weird. all right. No, I don't know how that'll work. That's not shit a boomer could pull off. All right, I hold think on. You're lying. Here we go. I, I, YouTube will hear this. <laughs> Refraction, which we immediately and adamantly claim is always present because there's temperature fluctuation and atmospheric conditions that are consistently affecting what you perceive. Did you hear that? Nothing? Nope. Okay. So I have to route that somehow. I have I have routing. I've looped back to route things, but I don't know where it's going to. So I won't try, but yeah, Austin, Austin, when he debated Ranty, said that you must account for refraction over and over and over. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I pulled out of that debate of him demanding that you account for refraction. But he never accounts for refraction when it comes to the, the, the black swan. Why is that? 
No, they say we can't it's measure just optics, to the horizon bro. because the horizon's moving because of refraction. Well, then why are you showing me the black swan picture? Yeah, if because it's it. just optics, bro. He it's was very clear optics. about that. It's just optics, bro. Bro. It's just the bendy light. It's just optics. He really didn't like that I kept calling it that. I was like, you're just using the bendy light alibi. He's like, the light isn't bending. It's just optics. It's like, e yes, and you're showing the light bending. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Eric Burns. He says, you say I'm a boomer, but I bet you had a Blackberry. I'm not a boomer because I had a Razor instead. Ooh, I never had a Blackberry, but we know Globy McGlobeface still does. It's in your drawer right I'm, there. I'm going to win right now. Pull it out there, yeah. Let's see it. You, you joke. Funnily it's enough, I actually have a Blackberry phone. downstairs. I never had a Blackberry. Man. I had the cheapest cell phone possible. Blackberries were awesome. Yep, blackberries. I wouldn't yep. know. I did have the first Android flip phone, like a slide out keyboard. Oh, look at this! I I got I got an email from forty eight dash sixty five dash six C dash seventy. Says in a super chat, I beat your challenge. Check email, and it's this person's uh, first super chat ever. So thanks for that. So I check my email. Um, here it is. From from I won't say his name. Uh, I says I beat your challenge. You may contact me to discuss your payment and my demonstration. You may provide any other measurements you'd like in reply to this message. Thank you. I hope your speedy payment. Well, very nice. I will reply. Um, but of course, the the actual challenge is to email me with your solution. So I'll ask him send your solution. Oh, he didn't do that? He just no. was demanding money? <laughs> it's just like, I beat it, send money. That's not how it actually works. I can't well, sure, change I mean, the that's challenge. that's all it takes, I beat it first. Oh my gosh. This is my first cell phone. I had oh, it when I was 16. Look at that thing. It has the alphanumeric, it's orange, uh, just one line of orange text. Jeez, you walked around first, with that brick? First cell phone, yeah, Man. baby. Look at this battery. So now the battery. So just to be clear, after after that, did you have children? <laughs> yes, but then uh, this right. was never near my crotch. <laughs> uh, fun fact. And then this was my second. That one. that's all. That's all BS. Yes. And then that's what they want you to believe. <laughs> Motorola StarTech. Wow. I'm keeping these for a museum, I think. With the placebo <laughs> antenna. Yes, this felt real good pulling this out. It does. Like, yeah, I got reception now. <laughs> it's like little kids when they get new shoes. Look how much faster I can run. All right. Earth is Life says he sent me something on Discord. Uh, Earth is Life is awesome. He does some excellent things. He's in. Uh, he was on last night. He's in Korea at the moment. Um, oh, that's but cool. I'll. I'll yeah, I can't I can't show this stuff on TikTok. That's the problem with TikTok. Like it sucks for showing things. Right? You Globan, you oh, yeah. show Once your you get TikTok Live Studio, you can. How's that work? Um, I think you have to have 10,000 followers on TikTok for it, but uh -huh. once you get access to it, you can just stream directly from your computer. It it's kind of like OBS, but also kind of worse. <laughs> Kind of worse. But you can set up scenes and all that stuff and have it change, you know, at will, all that stuff. It's pretty much the same process. Ooh, all right. 10,000 Yeah, normally followers. I just flip my screen, though. I need I need me some 10,000. Thank you, Earth is Life. Um, I, yeah, I can't show it. But yeah, the it, he has the, uh, the, the the black swan with the with everything wavy. And then from the same video, the uh, the um, that same oil platform where everything is not wavy and it's obstructed bottom up how's that happen yeah i was gonna pull that up but uh i i figured the point was already kind of hit right on the head <laughs> didn't really need to expand anymore yep all right cody Payne says please ask him why we don't see the black swan every single day see how quickly he does a 180 on dramatic a difference refraction makes oh yeah if, if it was, if that was the case, if the black swan was reality, we'd see it every single day. Yeah, there you go. There's that. 
that wavy broken. So this is what cream. they want to show and act and act like this is normal. And, but they don't show this. Yeah, that's normal. I find it funny how the only pictures I see are also on a website called Answers in Genesis. <laughs> that's yeah, I mean, all you have to do is look at the damn. Is it? Is yeah. Look at the crane. That's all you got to look at to understand which one is. So this is the this normal is, day. This is a book by Danny Faulkner, a flat Earth refutation. He is a young Earth creationist, so take that as as you will. But Danny's a good guy. He's very smart. He's an astronomer, so I don't know how how the light was in in uh, progress between here and the distant stars. But he's not a flat Earther, and he demolishes them, and he's. Um, he could, what what you ever hear them say that the, the they claim the Big Bang and and the globe are somehow intrinsically tied together? Oh yeah. Yeah. This this like right the here. Big Bang and evolution. <laughs> this guy is is anti evolution, anti Big Bang, and anti flat Earth. So. So he's the direct proof of uh, something otherwise. Exactly. Well, that's when, cool. I, I guess. Uh, Maybe maybe that'd be interested in uh, looking in into some of that stuff. Maybe he's got some more good stuff. This this book is really good, and, and it's probably one of the more technical treatments of flat Earth refutation in in book form. Did so. um did did you see the guy who went? I don't remember what state it was, but he went and stood up and uh, was like testifying about NASA lying. Did yeah, he wanted that? a county, some county government, to investigate. <laughs> It was ridiculous, and it was it was like the elementary school like moon hoaxer, you know, conspiracies things that everyone has addressed a million times already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there we How go. Come someone just can't show me one harness. That's all I want to see is one harness. So the the black swan is the Texas sharpshooter fallacy. That's what it is. It's it's a single one observation. That doesn't. It's not. It's not the norm. So. Anyway, all right. We got Doctor Nimrod says Monday, Hoon's Day, Wednesday, Hoon's Day again. <laughs> well, it's not Thursday right now. But thank you for that. Shovelhead Steve says he has the nervous giggling of the ignorant. I believe they're talking <laughs> about Caleb. Uh, M. Well, Schindler says keep the, end. keep the tune shine flowing. Um, for reference, this has as much proof as Eric Dubay's 200 proofs. Ooh. <laughs> and if you, if you know what I'm talking tonight, about. baby. <laughs> so that's straight water. That's <laughs> <laughs> You're staying hydrated. <laughs> uh, Bill Tetley, he, he said this last night too, similarly. He said, hey, Tunes, great content tonight. Praise Jehovah Jireh and Hail Sagan. <laughs> nice. You don't see people talking about praising Jehovah Jireh and Sagan in the same sentence, but there we just did. So thank you for that. Did typically you see people anti Sagan? Uh, that might be the first person to ever say that. <laughs> to in one in one sentence. Yeah, all together, just as a group. That might be the first time anyone has ever uttered those words together. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Um, expendability says Caleb to deal with the hillside issue in your model just put your measuring device on top of a bowl of water they'll find their level right <laughs> perfect and then the final one here from Anthony Fox says flurfs what's the point of NASA and them lying about the shape of the earth I mean what does that even accomplish what's them's agenda or their goal well, you've heard them. It's pretty obvious. It's to uh, it's to pay Globy to lie to us. It's all they want to do. It's it's pretty sad, actually. You know, I've had some of them, some of them tell you know they think there's more lands past the wall, right? And there's there's free resources that are being hidden from us. At least some of them do. It's 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 really come to my attention that like they. They probably just have very sad lives, and they're looking for something to hold on to, some sort of hope. Like, maybe one day we'll find these free lands and these free resources, and my life will be great again. It's really <laughs> sad. And some of them are just grifting. 
No, th I mean, they, they always say that NASA's putting us in a mental prison, so then instead they put us in a literal prison. <laughs> yeah, the Flat Earth is a prison prison. But there's two things they usually bring up. One is more lands, and somehow they're hiding more lands. But every time in human history when more lands have been discovered, there's been a gold rush to them. Right. So if, if they discovered more lands, they would rush to go claim them all as fast as possible and send as many people from their country, right? If the United States discovered it, you know for sure that there'd be military there, that there'd be people there, there'd be uh, all sorts of other countries going there as quickly as possible to, to plant their ground, their flag there to say, this is ours. That doesn't make sense. Well, the elites from all the, the elites from all the countries are all hoarding it for themselves and they've agreed even though we all, you know, they hate each other, they agreed to keep this a secret and not let us go there. Which is why you can't fly over the South Pole. But yeah. You can, but you can't. And the other I one... I actually had someone... Um... Oh, go ahead, sorry. The, the other one is more ridiculous. They say it's to hide God. They're like... Th they yeah, think that's so stupid. that the flat Earth, you know, reality is so incredibly, you know, convincing about God, that if people were to find out about it, they would all then believe in God. The problem is the people that are hiding it know about this and they're thoroughly not convinced. That doesn't work, does it? <laughs> well, and also, I, I always just point to it. It's like, why would you worship something that can be hidden by something it created? It's like that... <laughs> Seems like you're kind of limiting its power at that point, oh, right? Yeah. Kind of goes against all the other claims that they make about it. But Flurp God is super weak. Yeah, it's weird. S all he could invent was a snow globe, and that was it. <laughs> uh, Gary Little says, Sorry, but VHF, UHF propagation, as we use it, defeats the flat Earth every single time. Uh, apparently, Sal is in the guest box. A lot of people are spamming that. Who's, who's Sal? Uh, he's oh. got a working flat earth model. Oh, I need to get going. Uh, yeah, I was just letting you know what the comments on. were saying. Let, let me, oh no, I can't. Uh, <laughs> let me, I, I need to check. Let's see, hold on a second. Give me a second. You guys talk. <laughs> he's the one that sent the fireworks. All right, we're talking. All right, so now since the square is gone, it's time to party. Damn square. <laughs> Still thinks the Earth is a ball. Matt, it couldn't be me. <laughs> did, did you hear Caleb throw in the "We have our debate coming up"? All right. I hope you yeah, said good things. Um, only. No, bad. Oh yeah, yeah. Only good things for sure. All right. I I do have to get going. Um. So I'll get Sal's working flat Earth model some other time. All right. No worries. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be awesome. As awesome as all the other ones. But so the the uh, the person that said that he uh, he completed my challenge. Clearly did not read the challenge. The challenge gives very specific sextant measurements, and he used different sextant measurements. <laughs> you can't you can't do the challenge if you don't just go read the challenge. It's not just go do something and then send it to me and say, ha ha. You actually have to read the challenge like a big boy. You know, ask your mommy to read it to you if you if you need. Right, and then and then actually use the 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 three star angle measurements that are in the challenge, and then provide the position for them, and it's the process. You need to give me the process so that I can test it myself. This you would know if you read the challenge. Since you didn't read the challenge, then how could you? It's clear you didn't read the challenge because you didn't send me the process. But anyway, I'll read. No, it. I'll no. email back. Don't don't expect them to read. I know. So <laughs> yeah, they're literally so bad they can't even Google something now. Now they just use ChatGPT. Oh my god! Literally, <laughs> it's so annoying. Like it couldn't. Have, I didn't think it could get worse than Googling something and not bothering to click the links you're seeing and just skimming and taking headlines and stuff. But now they're literally just asking a computer, uh, an AI. Did, did you see Witsit? He tried to get um, citations for. Uh, thunderstorms yes. affecting gravity. He asked ChatGPT, 
sent it to somebody else asking to get the refer the citations. They had, none of them exist. And then he got caught in that lie. He spiraled, lied more, got got it called out, lied more. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, what Julius was uh, talking about. I think to me, he he was telling me he's like, dude. If this is true, this is hilarious. And I, I instantly messaged you. I was like, hey, by the way, you might want to talk to Julius. I think he might be onto something. You were like, oh, yeah, he's onto something. <laughs> yeah. It was and, crazy. Yeah, Julius Julius was, uh, he confirmed. So if you're on, on YouTube, Julius Dedekind is, is on TikTok. He's, he's uh, another great, uh, great globe guy. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to wrap it up. Um, but... Uh, Oh, let's see. Somebody's yelling, have we used Bard yet? I have an account. That's it. That's one more thing. That is. Witsit claimed that um, these these citations, I think, that, that didn't actually exist. Witsit claimed that he went to other AIs, multiple other <laughs> AIs, multiple other AI, other than ChatGPT. So Bard is one, but that's not yet multiple. I don't know what other AIs he might have used to do this verification. Certainly, that's yet another lie. No, that's yet to be speculated. You know. Yeah, we're gonna have we to don't speculate, speculate that. Around here. All right, well, guys, <laughs> thank you, Globe Man and Globey McGlobe Face. Thank you to everybody on TikTok who joined. I'm gonna wrap yeah, this one up. On. I don't need. How do I? Oh, that the power button thing at the top, right? Is that, is that right? Uh, right yeah. Yes. Right up there. All right, yep, people. Yep. We'll we'll see right, you on TikTok a in a little bit. We'll see you later. Bye. Somehow, there it is. And now. All right. Wow. And uh, YouTuber, YouTube audience, thank you very much. It's been fun. Um, it's been entertaining. Um, and uh, like I said, I will be doing this again, hopefully, with a, a flat earther from Australia. Be looking for the... Um, the I'm going to post the video tomorrow, and I'll... I'll I'll include in the description, be watching for this, the the Discord account for the guy who who wants this debate, but he he doesn't want this debate. He's like, it's gotta be now. Like he's messaging me while I'm at work today. I'm literally in the office today. He's like, it has to be now or you're chicken. I'm like, dude, you said that you couldn't do it when you were working. I have no problem with that. So I chose a time when you aren't working. How about this time? He's like, it's gotta be now. So if he doesn't show up, We'll just we'll just have a chuckle at at his expense and then do something else. But everybody, thank you very much for coming along on this uh, um, out of uh, out of the out of the schedule um, uh, live stream. Thank you for coming along and uh, for the new. We got some new members. I'm gonna have to re-render what's going along the bottom here. Always happy to do that. And the outro, which I'm uh, about to about to be done i'm doing the shah sum right now it's not done yet though there it is see you later everybody see that it works every time if i just wait